abuse, go ahead and hop into the guest request. Remember, we are just looking for some debates today. You guys already know what the fuck going on. What do you mean what happened? We all the same fuck great. Right. Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh let's start it! Popped! Look at me, look at my skin. I shaved my face. Oh god! Right? But yeah, if you think that spanking is not abuse, go ahead and hop into the guest request. Remember, we are just looking for some debate. So if you believe that spanking is not abuse, go ahead and hop into the guest request. Give it a second, y'all. Oops, there we go. Give it a second. Oops, why is it like this? Oh, yeah. Kaz, what's going on? Hey, I, I was just going to be here. I'll be in the uh, guest request when you need a uh, French translation. Oh, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You see you. Also, everyone, W Kaz, my lady got married. And the dress was T. Period. Hi, how old are you? Thank you for the heart. It means everyone. Thank you for the gifts. My tummy hurts. Your tummy hurt? Your tummy hurt? But I'm being brave. Okay, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not. Hey. Hi, how old are you? I'm 19. In what year were you born? 2005. Okay, so do you think that uh, spanking is abuse or not abuse? Um, it depends. Is it like spanking from a mother or spanking in general? Spanking as a form of discipline. Thank you for the ele elephant, my love. Thank you for the elephant trying. And also, thank you all so much for the heart music and gifts. Thank you. I don't think, no, I don't think that's abuse. I don't think that's just disciplining your child. Shut the fuck up. the fuck <laughs> anyway why don't you think it's abuse no i do not think it's abuse because um you know it's just disciplining your child in some ways okay so can discipline be done via abusive means yeah it can get to a point like right so how can well, discipline be know. done via abusive means Sorry, I don't know how to say this in English because English is not my first language. Um, me. Then if that's the case, then we're not going to be able to communicate. No, no, but like, I want to explain, but let me just find the words. It is to a certain point not abuse, but it can get like... Yeah, I'm asking you for what that point is. I know that you think that it's not abuse. Yeah, yeah, so like, you can give your, your, your child like a little smack, you know, like... Okay, Stop then the that. question is explaining how that's not abuse, right? Also, before before you go in with this point, I'm going to be doing some skincare today. We're going to go in with our niacinamide um, serum here, and then we're going to go on with the vitamin C serum. So I know you think these things are not abuse. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for the heartbeat, my love. Um, you need to define how this is not abuse. For me, it's not abuse because it's my culture, you know, so I do and not... Your culture is dangerous as fuck. What's the definition <laughs> of abuse? Uh, I, it could be mentally and physically. Um, That's not a definition. Those are examples. No, I know, but let me just... Um... Please stop, please stop, like, trying to fluff up your words because it doesn't help you, right? So when I ask you for something, I'm asking you for something that's specific. Right? So I don't need you to fluff up your words with this weird ass rigmarole. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when I ask you for the definition, give me the definition. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. All right. So what's the definition of abuse? Oh, they laugh. Let's go on to the next person. Like, please. People do that when they don't know how to answer something. 
And they think everyone else is stupid. That's what you do when you don't know something. You're giving yourself more time to think. Hi, how old are you? Hi, I'm 24, born in 2000 or more. How are you? I'm fine. Do you think that uh, spanking is abuse? Um, it's... It's a yes or no. Well, yes, because... Um... Okay, I'm looking for people who think that it's not abuse. Let's go on to the next person, y'all. Remember, only hop into the guest request if you think that spanking is not abuse. Oh, shit. <laughs> sorry, um, that. I'm sorry. Um, you said that you were looking for people who think that it isn't abuse. So I, I, do, yeah. I, I don't qualify in that. Also, I am 20. I was born in 2004. That's but fine. I don't qualify for that. So you can just mute me out. I'm good. All right. Let's go on to the next person. I'll give it a second. Well, yeah. Um, but it casts, if someone comes up and they speak French and I don't understand them, there's probably going to be too much anyway. Um, so probably just move on. Hi, how old are you? Thank you for the ICU, my love. Thank you for tuning I'm 19 years old. What year were you born? Yeah, it's 23, not 24. It's whatever. I'm sorry? 2005. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? No. Okay, so why is that? I believe in just disciplining your child the right way. Obviously not leaving marks. Can discipline be done via abusive means? Um, can you repeat that one more time? Can discipline be done via abusive means? No. Do you not understand what I just said? No, I do not. What's the do definition of discipline? <laughs> I don't know. Why do you use words that you don't know the definition for? Um. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the definition of, of discipline, okay? So okay. when you come up and make, in the future, when you mm -hmm. come up and you make particular claims like this, it is important for you to know what you're saying. Okay. Like, random strangers should not be able to clock you like this. That's embarrassing. Don't do, don't do that to yourself. Um. The definition of discipline is training something, right, particularly that of a person or an animal, mm -hmm. um, to do whatever you want them to do, to so train them to behave in a particular way. Can this be done via abusive means? All right, let's go on to the next person. Like, I don't, I don't get it, you know? I truly don't get it. I will not. Um, hi, how old are you? Hey, I'm 24. What year were you born? 99. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? No. Why is that? Um, just because, like, I would say it is circumstantial, but overall, I don't think it is abuse. Um, I know, why? Again, it's circumstantial, but because, like, it depends on the situation, right? Like, I'll give you an example, okay? So, you you come home with a bad grade on a test? Absolutely not. I don't think you should get spanked. You run out in the middle of a street chasing a ball? You might get hit by a car? Yeah, I would say that you should get spanked. Yeah, and I don't, that. right? So, why, why is that okay? Why is that permissible to you? Because one of them is threatening your life and the other one isn't. You think it's okay to hurt people as long as it doesn't threaten your life? No, I'm saying the corrective action that you took was to correct an action that could have affected your life and running out to get hit in your life. You think spanking doesn't affect someone's life? That's not what I said. That's why I'm asking you questions. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is if you touch the stove, you get burned, right? you know not to touch the stove again. Why? Because it's stung, it sticks, right? And that's kind of a thing for me is if it stings, it sticks, right? So if you touch something high when you're a kid, you don't touch it again, right? You run out of the middle of the street and you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that because my parents just spanked me. So I know that that kind of stung a little bit. So I'm not going to do that again, right? Now, again, you think like it's I okay. Said, so you think it's okay to hurt people to get them to do what you want them to do? 
No, I'm not saying it's okay to hurt people. What I'm saying is well, you can what, use that. What, as wait, a, what's the difference in what you just said, right? Because because you're using this as a as a way I, to as a way PJ, to. I acknowledge that hurting people gets them to do what you want them to do. That's why torture works. This is yeah, you but you're not that that torturing them, and you're also you're also not abusing them because abusing is using something to bad effect or bad purpose, and your purpose of spanking. No, them not at all. The, I'm looking at the definition of abuse and I'm looking that is, at it. That is the colloquial Oxford definition of abuse. The uh, clinical definition of abuse, with some, or at least how therapists define abuse, um, is the maintaining of a particular power dynamic via the recurrent use of violence. Exactly. And, and also, not, even with the recurring... Oxford, I'm not done speaking. And even with, the, even with the definition of Oxford, you can simply apply this to discipline. Spanking is to the bad use or excessive nature of discipline therefore wrong sorry can you can you say that last part again you said that the definition of abuse is to use to like some kind of a bad nature i can simply say that abuse is using discipline to a bad nature and so would you say it would be better to let me all right so all right so with with abuse of a child right and i'm not saying that this is should be allowed in any sense of the manner it should not right just end of discussion there but when it comes to spanking for me you are not abusing your power as an adult when spanking your child if it's for a cause that's like like i said the betterment of their life Latin, again if they come up with a bad grade on their test and you spank your kid yeah you're abusing them if Again, oh no! Just you just you just you just no. A parent can make the argument that having good grades better better's your child's life. You can't even make that argument. These are wholly subjective standards you're you're talking about here. So can you go ahead and provide the source that says that spanking better's a child's life? I can't look that up at the moment, but yes, you can. I'll give you some time. If I leave the TikTok, it doesn't, it doesn't kick, kick you from it wasn't it won't kick you from the live. I'll give you some time. Anyway. <sighs> anyway so we're gonna carve out our brows really quickly and then um we're going to do some color correcting if i could find it that's the crazy part you know if i could find my color corrector that would be absolutely so fetch that would be so fetch you know chat also i got a new foundation i got a brand new foundation i'm going to tell you guys about the new products that i have while he tries to find this fuck ass source you have 15 more seconds and hurry up um so today for our new are you there did you find a source yeah, I have one from SciPost.org, the psychology website. Um, if you're, I was going to say, I do What's have to go. If you're cool, study? I can definitely do some research. And if you're oh talking about this topic again, I'd Let's love to hop to back in person. here. And... Uh, what a waste of time. Let's go on to the next person. Now you have to go. Oh, my God. Anyway, I got this NARS foundation. And I also got this Hourglass uh, concealer. So we're going to try it out today. Hi, how old are you? Um, I'm 23, born in 2001. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? No. And why is that? Um, like you said prior with the other guy, discipline in a way. So for me, I don't believe um, spanking is abuse because I believe in it as um, disciplining a child, like you said. Many people discipline their um, people for them to become what they want to become. But it's not mainly about what you want them to become, but disciplining them in a way to um, save them from harm or to better their life in a way. What does discipline mean? For me, disciplining means um, teaching a child wrong, bad from good, um, good from wrong. So, for example, if your child is doing something... You can only discipline children? Not only children, you could discipline okay, so adults. Okay, so then that's not the definition of discipline. So what is the definition of discipline? 
teaching someone um, wrong or good in a way that they won't do it again. Wrong or good? Yeah, good, like teaching them good or bad. But by so doing- wait, so when so when like so when North Korean soldiers are trained to execute innocents, is that a good thing? No. But that's dis- that's how they're disciplined, though. That's dumb. That's how they discipline. But that's not how it depends on who's dip- disciplined. So so wait, so if it's about good or bad, then executing civilians is good. No, in their so book, then that's not the be- definition of discipline either. All right. So what's the definition of discipline? But I give you my dis- my definition of how. Yeah, but I your definition discipline. your definition would make it okay for soldiers to be disciplined to execute innocent people. All right, that's how they train their soldiers. That's not how I'm gonna be training my people or my you kids. Think, you think that's good? Even if I think it's good or bad, it's not up to me to say that. Like you, that's literally how, what you just you said. How your definition. discipline is bad. That's your definition of abuse that every um physically abusing someone or physically teaching someone to do something is bad but mainly it doesn't really have to be that's how you um you view it you know or how they view it but it doesn't necessarily have to be how i view it then and there i didn't ask you if that's how you view it i'm saying you're insinuating that under your worldview because they think it's good that means that it's good no it's not that one is not good Right, so then your definition doesn't hold utility. All right. Right, so the def- the actual definition of discipline is simply training someone or something to behave in the way that is preferable to you. Exactly, so I'm going to train whomever That's not what you I'm said. training. Anyway, so can this be done via abusive means? Yes. And what does abuse mean? So spanking is, some people may consider that I didn't, I didn't. I didn't ask you about spanking, I asked you what abuse means. Abusive means it's hitting somebody or hurting somebody. That's abusive. That's, a, means. that's, a, that's an example. So what makes something abuse? If it extends the norms. Basically, if you hurt the person. If in it a extends way that, the norms? If you hurt the person in a way that it could threaten their life, I would consider that, um, yeah. That one so, when sla- so when slave masters beat their slaves and the slaves didn't die, that's not abuse? To me, I'll say no because, like you said, it's um, it's um, what do you call it? Disciplining somebody to behave in the norms that you want them to behave in. So slave masters were beating their slaves because they wanted their slaves to act a certain way or be a certain so that, way, so preferable to them. So when they would beat their slaves, and they that wasn't abuse. No, it was discipline. So when they would grape their slaves, that wasn't abuse. Can you repeat that again, please? When they would do what? So when they would grape their slaves, that wasn't abuse. Rape? I said grape for a reason. No, I'm trying to see on the word it's, you said it's rape. T- it's TikTok TOS. You can't say that word. Just say grape. Oh, okay, okay. I understand. I'm sorry. So that would be considered abuse. Why would it be abuse? They're training them. That's not training. That's just for yes, your own is. pleasure. No, it's not. That's for the that's for the masses of pleasure. Yeah, but they were training they were training the slaves to behave in a particular way around them. So by your criteria, it wouldn't be abuse. Graping someone wouldn't be abuse. As long as it is done under the pretenses that you are trying to get them to behave in a particular way, then it wouldn't be abuse. You're a psychopath. Okay. That's and weird, I'm glad, right? I'm glad I am because. Hopefully my kids won't be like these, or not even my kids, people that I will be disciplined will not turn out like people on the streets. So thank you. And I know my people, my people, how many whoever, continents, how many continents are there though? We're not talking about continents. We're talking many, about but no, quick, really quickly. I just want to see how good they're going to be. How many continents are there? And which one are you on right now? <laughs> I'm in America. That's not a continent. Did you know that spanking lowers IQ? That spanking do what? Spanking lowers IQ. Spanking low? Wow. Let's go on to the next person. All right. <laughs> People are genuinely terrifying, aren't they? 
Actually, no. Uh, Gabe, please go find someone that loves you. That's weird, right? <laughs> These are the people who like to abuse children. Weird. Very strange world we live in. What a We live in quite the cinematic universe. Honey, if you genuinely think I'm going off topic, you don't have the critical thinking for this conversation, my love. Please, set this one out. I'm mad for what? She just said that beating someone is an abuse. Hello. How old are you? Hi, I'm 27 years old. Okay, so do you, can you move somewhere quieter, please? Oh yeah, sorry, I'm doing my hair. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, is that better? Like Swiss words, that's what she said verbatim. Um, so yeah, so do you think that spanking is abuse? I do and I don't. This matches. Oh, that's a contradiction. Um, for one, I am a mom of three. So there's that. I don't want to hear about how you abuse your kids and how you might not abuse your kids. Is spanking abuse, yes or no? Uh, no. And why is that? For one, it's a form of discipline. And for what discipline two, means? Um, it's a way of... It depends on how you word it, I guess. I should say. No, it doesn't. So what does discipline mean? Um, hmm. You seriously don't know what the word means? Well, it, like I said, it's a, it depends on. No, it doesn't. There's, there's, there's one, there's one definition that encompasses the entire thing. Just say you don't know. It's okay to admit when you don't know something. Okay. I don't know. Cause you make an ass of yourself. Okay. Right, so discipline is simply training someone or something to behave in the way that you want them to behave. Right, right. So can, okay. can, can, so can you discipline someone via abusive means? Discipline someone, wait, what? Via abusive means. Via abuse. Yeah. Actually, yeah. do you know what abuse means? Abuse is pretty much beating someone. Beating that's, an exa that's an example. So what does abuse beating, mean? Beating or mentally abuse or physically. You can't use the word in the definition. What does abuse mean? Um, you, know, you can be physically and mentally. You're giving examples again. What does abuse mean? It's, again, it's okay to admit when you don't know something. Okay. Where'd you go? What a, this is a beautiful concealer. I'm using, right now, guys, I'm going in with the Hourglass Concealer. Jesse. All right, let's go on to the next person. Let's go on to the next person. Also, guys, um, if you ever put on a lace wig and you haven't done your makeup yet, it's much better not to color it until after you do your makeup because you never know where you're going to be when you're finished and you don't want to cake on makeup onto your lace. So if you see it, you're fucking supposed to. Um, hi, how old are you? I'm 32. Okay, so do you think a spanking is abuse? No, I do not. And why is that? um well like the girl said before i do feel like it is a form of discipline or tr trying to teach your kids how to obey or to follow the rules or have them in better behavior if they are destructive or if they do not comprehend certain things or like the other guy had mentioned you know, if a kid puts his hand on fire, he learns that he shouldn't do that anymore because the fire is hot. He can burn his hand. I do think if you are beating your child, if you are punching, if you are strangling, if you are choking, if you are doing all of those things to your child, then that becomes abuse. Natalia, thank you so much for the $10 cash up, my love. Thank you. And also you guys, thank you so much for the gifts. I can't see you when this is right in front of my face, but thank you all so much for the gifts. I, I truly appreciate it. Okay, so what was the question that I asked them after that? Um, I'm, I wasn't, I'm not too sure. You can repeat yourself. You listened to their entire statement, but not the 10 seconds that I spoke? Well, I'm currently at work too, so I'm like multitasking. Turn off your ears. Anyway, so... <laughs> It, it does um, so what's when the I'm definition? talking to somebody it's okay. else. It's okay. So yeah. what's the definition of abuse? 
So I would say the definition of abuse is violence, cruelty, misusing your power, or um, yeah, just very, just cruelty, which will be like Okay, so what is the definition child. of violence? Violence, I will say, I can give you examples. I didn't ask for examples, I asked for a definition. Well, I would say violent could mean cruelty. It's cruelty. What does cruelty me. mean? Well, I'm not going, listen, I'm not a dictionary. I'm not going to answer. Well, you're going to, where well, you're going um, to need to. I know. You, you can, I'm I can not. look it up if you don't know. Well, fine. You can look it up for us. Thank you. Okay. Well, the definition of violence based off of, let's say, Oxford would be the intentional uh, pain cost to another person right um or intentional harm in particular caused to another person and then cruelty let's see the cruelty definition the definition of cruelty is callous indifference to uh to or pleasure in causing pain or suffering so it would be the indifference in causing some type of harm or another definition under oxford says behavior that causes pain or suffering to a person or animal now Caleb, thank you so much for the $10 Venmo. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. W, Caleb. So riddle me this. Does spanking hurt? Um, spank. See, I think spanking for me is it, not like what you perceive, perceive it to be. Like it could be a little slap on the hand. It could be a little tap on the butt. You know, it could be like something right, like. So do, you th do these things cause harm? Not necessarily. It doesn't cause harm. It and where's teaches, the evidence for that? It teaches someone to not do something again. Oh, I agree that it teaches them. So does torture. But that's I'm, not uh, no one. No one has ever. If, if I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, if, I'm not done. If, if I'm not done speaking. I'm not done speaking, though. Day, well, I'm not done speaking, first, though. though. You really so were. Anyway, okay. so let's continue. Um, no one ever denies that spanking works. Spanking works. Spanking works for the same reason that torture works, right? No one spanking works really well, really fucking well, right? Because no shit, people stop doing things when you hit them. People stop doing things when you beat the shit out of them, right? You can pinch a child and it will work. The question is, is whether or not it is morally acceptable. Right? So can you find the source that says that it does not cause harm? I have my own sources from my own experience. Your experiences will like never be that evidence, I live. Not even in Let the Let me tell you law. something. Kids who haven't been disciplined, right? Anyway, so I can give you some, I can give you 45 seconds. You can find a source for me. I don't want to hear your, I don't want to hear your lore about how you hate your kids. I'm not going to lie, baby. I am, chat, so far... So far, I am really loving this concealer. The Hourglass Concealer is definitely one of the best I've tried. I'm really feeling this. Do you have a source? I, I can't just let you yap about your personal experiences if you're, like, that's not a source. I don't, I don't know who you are. I don't know if you're telling me the truth. You have no way of testing your experiences. You have no way of testing other people's experiences. You have no ways of testing your bias. Why would I care about your personal experiences? You can say anything you want. So that's why I'm asking you for a source. So can you provide that? Well, your source is not really accurate either. It's just I never made a claim, my love. But you was reading something offline or you just told... I gave you the definition from Oxford Languages. IQ, but... That's ultimately somebody's oh, opinion. Do you? Oh no, it's not. I can yeah, actually, it is. I can it's actually give opinion. you that. No, it's not. I can give you this. So there's a particular study. Um, it's called it's spanking. A study. It's right. a study. They That's grow how we around, know things. What? 
and ask fifteen people. Right. That's how we. That's how we. That's an how we answer, know and then then it gives it's, the it's, whole no, answer for the whole not at all. world. No, it doesn't no, work not, like that. No, that, so your that's sources not how is work. not really that accurate either. That's not You're, how studies. You are just that's saying not how studies work. An opinion. That's not how studies work, though. That's called okay. a survey, babe. Right. Okay. Anyway, so this particular study is called Spanking and Child Outcomes, Old Controversies and New Meta-Analyses. So what they did is they looked at a handful of um, old spanking studies from the past, um, and then they evaluated all of these studies, and then they went ahead and did a study of their own that is more modernized, right? And so in other studies, they found that it was not as accurate as they would prefer it to be. If anything, they said that the the conflicts was that uh within these studies they, i don't know why you're talking study. over me like i don't know why you're talking accurate. over me. it's still an opinion i don't know why you're talking let over me tell me. you kids i don't know why you're talking over me are shoot i don't know why you're talking over me right and so in one of the studies the main, i don't know why right you're now. talking over me and it's because they got hit people. and it's because they got hit i don't know why you're talking it's over because me. they didn't get hit did you did you know that spanking also lowers inhibition. It lowers IQ. It lowers self control. You ever you ever thought about that? See, I'm not disagreeing with you there. I, I don't know why you're. Oh, because you're displaying these particular symptoms. So can you please let me finish speaking? Honestly, like I'm just going to remove myself out because this is ridiculous. Because. You Whatever are helps you being sleep very disrespectful. You're How am I being like, disrespectful? You just interrupted me. Like you, first of all, you've interrupted me plenty of times. Honey, there might be a delay. Off. There's a delay in the you live. You cut but me like, off. You are you, muted are you, me. You didn't give because, me the chance Because you're not letting speak, me talk, so Ms. Kim. You are very, you're very, very disrespectful. Well, whatever helps so you sleep at night, baby. if you want me to give you something that you want me to give to you, you should give it back. You, If you want me to give you something that you want me to give to you, Okay. Um, I'm you know. saying if you want me to be quiet, you should have been quiet while I was talking. Well, you, you're going to be quiet regardless, or you're going to go back into the comments. Do you want to do that? Because we can do sure, that. Sure, baby. I don't have, I don't care. Oh, Bye-bye. okay. See Put the ya. dog back in the pen. That was weird. <laughs> yes. Very weird. Thank very. you. I'm happy you agree. Let's go on to the next person. Glowhung, can you bring up the next person, please? Fucking womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> Wompity wompity. Hello. Hi, how old are you? I'm 21. Okay, so do you think do you think spanking is abuse? No. So do you have any kids? No, hell no. Okay. Um, do you have education? Have I been to school? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're telling me that when your kid is screaming in a grocery store, you're not going to spank them, or if they're hitting another individual, you're not going to spank them, and that's abuse? Because that's absolutely, crazy. absolutely not. I will absolutely never put my hands on my child. So you're not going to discipline your chi- your your child at all. You can discipline a child without hitting them. Yeah, but that doesn't work. They're not going to learn. Oh, where's oh, where's the evidence for that? Um, I, actually. I have two kids myself. Oh, so. I don't. Oh, I didn't ask for your lore. I asked for. I asked for a source. So, can you go ahead and find that peer-reviewed source for me? A source. Um. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I can give you one to the contrary. Are you gonna look for the source? I don't care about your lore. I don't what, know what's kids. what's the source that I need to look for? The source that proves your point. I already did prove my point. Oh, I you can... just went to trustmebro.com? You went to Trustmebro yeah, University? I sure did. Oh, then there's yeah. not much of it then sadly there's not much of a conversation that we're gonna be able to have then. If you oh, just believe okay. if you just believe things for no reason, that makes you like delusional by definition. Or a bigot, you know. Whichever one suits you better. All right. All right. I don't just. I love kid. this fucking this concealer. I know you abuse your kids. I love this concealer. This is it. This is definitely it. We fuck with this. We fuck with hourglass over here. This is an hourglass household from now on. 
Let's go on to the next person, you guys. Give it a second. Also, if you do want to support me, Cash App and Venmo in the bio, or double tap and follow me on this account here. Um, drop the brand. It's Hourglass. That's literally all it's called, Hourglass. Um, but yeah, hop into the guest request if you do think spanking is not abuse. Remember, we are only speaking to people who think that it's not abuse. And also, thank you all so fucking much! For the gifts today and all the roses, you all are definitely amazing. And I truly do appreciate all of you. Um, like, genuinely, you guys are fucking awesome. Hi, how old are you? Hi, I'm 18 years old. In what year were you born? I was born 2006. Okay, so do you think that... Thank you so much for the heart, man. Thank you so much for the rose as well. Um, do you think that spanking is abuse? Spanking, in my definition, is abuse. Okay, I'm just looking for people who think that it's not abuse, though. Okay. Let's go on to the next person, y'all. Give it a second. We will get some more debates in. We will get some more debates in. Remember, you all, we are just looking for people who think that it is not abuse. Annie, thank you so much for the high bearing garland. I appreciate you. Period. Period. I truly do appreciate you. I feel like my brows don't have enough of an art, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Hi, how old are you? I'm 40 years old. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? Bradley, thank you so much for the $6.66 of her Venmo. I appreciate you so much, my love. W Bradley in the chat. Thank you so much. I think that under certain conditions, it is not abuse. Okay, and those conditions being? Uh, those conditions being um, when all else has failed. Oh, yeah, last resort kind of thing, I guess. You guys? I mean, Naya, thank you so much for the $10 cash app. And Philip, thank you so much for the Galaxy. W, Naya, and Philip. Oh, so if it's the last resort? Well, I mean, okay. Like, I, I deal with children oh, I don't the care. same way. I, I deal with children the same way I deal with peers. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear that. Um, TR, thank you so much for the four ninety nine over cash up. I love you as well, baby. Yeah, I didn't, I don't, I don't care. Um, that's not evidence to me. That's never going to be evidence. Um. So yeah, what do you mean by last resort? Well, for instance, a uh, child tries to stick their fork in a light socket. That is a thing that will hurt them. Me spanking them will hurt them less. So you think as long as what you're doing hurts them less, then it's not abuse? Well, I mean... It's a yes or no question. Can, can you define what your understanding of abuse is for me? The clinical definition of abuse is the... Um, uh, perpetuation of a particular power dynamic via the recurrent use of violence. Okay. Recurrent use of violence. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's... No, because, I mean, for it to be effective, you should only have to use it once. Okay. Philip, thank you so much for the sneaky gnomes. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. What does this mean to me? Well, I mean, I'm thank not you. certain what it means to you, but. I need you to stop speaking in parables and talk like an adult because I don't know what the fuck that means. I apologize. I apparently am having difficulty communicating. That seems to be a regular thing. Oh. Sorry. No, I'm not your fault. Happened to me my whole life. Fine. Thank you for the roses. Um, right, so, how was banking not abuse? Well. <laughs> Stone Eyes, if you need more time to think, I can just go on to the next person because people with low attention spans for some reason don't like to watch lives. I can give you some yeah, more time. No, I, I, I understand that, but it kind of seems like you're trying to talk in circles a little bit. Talk in what circle, babe? 
well, I don't know. It seems it seems that you are dead set that spanking is abused no matter what, no matter how. And I'm not sure I understand why you're taking that perspective. Okay. So do you agree with the definition of abuse that I gave you? Uh, yeah, you said violence is a recurring mechanism. Yes? No. Well, we'll finish the sentence. It's a recurring mechanism of what? Oh, of the power dynamic. I have okay. more power than you. So as Good. a result. Good. Um, right. So let's go ahead and give you an example. Do you know what police brutality is? Yeah, yeah, I've had my fair share of that. Do you think police brutality is wrong? Yes. In most instances, yes. In what instance is police brutality not wrong? Uh, when they fuck with me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So why is police brutality... I know. So why is police brutality wrong? Uh, because... Of the, because of the power dynamic, exactly. Okay. Well, not not even just that, but like specifically, what what's the first thing that makes police brutality wrong? What is the most common critique that people give within the face of police brutality? Oh my God, police are supposed to protect and serve. <laughs> that is that it is unnecessary. How well? Okay. Except that sometimes that's not true because they. If it is, if it is necessary, that. then it is not police brutality. If it is unnecessary, then it is police brutality. That's what police brutality means. Okay, but who determines what is necessary? Obviously, the police are not well adjusted. And that's a good question. But if we understand that a particular scenario does not require violence or excessive violence, then we understand that excessive violence would be unnecessary. Like if a person is okay. on the floor and they're, hand, and they're handcuffed, is it necessary to pull out your pew pew? Well, no, I mean, if they're on exactly. the floor and so we can't, So we can determine when something is excessive. Okay, so then how is swatting your baby's bottom necessarily abuse? because it is excessive and not unnecessary. There are proven ways to discipline and communicate with children. So violence, sorry, violence within the context that where violence is unnecessary is excessive and therefore abuse. Okay, when it's unnecessary. Like I said, my- When they're not, when is, you're not performing within the gentlest means with your children, then that means what you're doing is unnecessary and therefore abuse. You ever been in a fight as an adult? No, I don't fight. I have things to lose. Uh, well, I mean, you don't fight. Have you ever been in an altercation in which it was potentially necessary? Are you willing to fight? Uh, if it ever came down to it, I guess. I think most people would be. Yeah, most most of them would be. And, I mean, that's... That wouldn't be unnecessary. Well? Self-defense is not unnecessary. Self-defense is quite literally necessary. Self-defense is a necessary thing. Yes, but, because it is the success. It is a it is a maintaining of your own integrity. Right, but the fact is, you're still choosing violence. I didn't say all violence is wrong. No, you didn't. You said unnecessary violence is wrong. Right. So, by definition, self defense is necessary. Absolutely. So then, what are we talking about? Okay. How do children learn? about violence? Uh, pretty easily. Children are exposed to the world just like anyone else. They exist within the same universe. I don't see where you want this conversation to go. Okay. Forgive me, but as a child, I 
did not necessarily under understand that things that I looked at could be presented to me in any other fashion than being an observer. Okay. In in my opinion, banking is when it's moderated, absolutely like not talking about beating a child to death or nothing, but banking in moderation is necessary to there's not a quake. single source or academic study there's not a single psychological study that says this not a single one no one ever well, says well, i'm not done speaking no one ever says that spanking doesn't work spanking works spanking works because people stop doing things you don't want them to do when you hurt them pain makes you not want to do things your brain biologically avoids pain right so if it connects pain with a particular action you are less likely to do that action what i said is that it's unnecessary so unless you think it is perfectly morally permissible to hurt someone to get them to do what you want them to do then what you're saying holds no bearing okay no i i apologize i simply do not agree so then you think police brutality is good yeah that you you're think in some cases that can be good narcissist. oh my god never mind am i an i'm a narcissist you are, in fact. Spell narcissist. No, I'm okay. Okay. Let's go on to the next person. Hi, how old are you? Hi, I'm 20. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, what year were you born? 2003. I okay. actually turned 21 next month. Okay, um, so do you think that spanking is abuse? No, spanking is not abuse, and I'm ready to give you an Oxford um, definition for that. Um, spanking is an act of slapping, especially on the buttocks, as a punishment for children, right? So you said there are forms of punishment without spanking, which would be taking privileges away and time out. Either I way... Okay, but that's a form of punishment. That's a form of punishment without I don't spanking, believe, right? I don't believe in punishments either. Okay, because that was my rebuttal. Because either way, taking privileges away can be just You're as rebutting an argument that I didn't make? Okay, so you're saying that spanking is abuse because I have some different that as well. Yeah, then let's address an argument that I made, please. If you can't see me, I cannot hear you. So go, go ahead and provide the study. Can you hear me? Yeah, you have to be able to see me or I won't be able to hear you. Oh, so I'm you're sorry. Gonna have to, like use your memory or something. I'm sorry. So from um codeforkids.org, it says that spanking is not abuse as it is not intended to physically cause bodily harm to a child. So it's all about intent, right? If you are no, intention not. Well, that's from a source. That's from a .org, which it says it's not physically abusive. It does not cause bodily harm. Right. So when you got to slap your child or what tap is it your called? child, they're not going to roll around and die, right? Okay. Can you s calm down? I don't know. I'm called? calm. I'm just ready with my facts. Oh. What's it called? <laughs> it's called. Um, hold on. It's called. It's on my phone. So when I go to it, I'm going to. You be have to use your memory. It's called coforkids.org. Coforkids.org, yes. Where it and what's the that, what's the title called? It's called physical abuse. So back to what I was saying. Um, no, nope, not yet. If it's not it's just, causing it's, you. I, I don't oh, know what I'm you're. Not, I don't. I can't find. Speaking. How am I speaking over you when you just wasn't? Speaking? Because I can't find what you're talking about, genius. So, 
<laughs> I can put the source it's, in the chat. The title is just there are three thousand people in here. I will never be able to see your comment, okay? Oh well your your uh, mod seen my comment when I was saying let me They're up. not gonna so be able to pin it, it either. They're not gonna be able to pin it either. So <laughs> what's the title of the study that you It's called done? Physical Abuse by CoforKids.org. That's the title? I can't find any title that says physical abuse. Yes, the title is physical abuse. I literally cannot find a single thing that says that. Okay. There's I one mean, that says there's, the there's I can put it in the chat. I will never be able to I will never be okay, able to see it well, in the chat. Stop talking. Well, maybe you're trying to find it. it. They won't be able to see it either. So child is there's four <laughs> actually no, there's five different uh like I guess chapters on this website. There's child abuse and neglect, child abuse prevention, foster care, reimagining child welfare, and professional resources. Which one are you under? Um, the one that I'm on, it says co for kids and it's. You might be reading like a, a subtitle. I'm looking for a title. Why does everyone always think I'm mad? It has to be racism. Is it a K or C? Oh, it's a C. I found it. Yes. So what the article is explaining, which I've been trying to say, is that if your intentions isn't to cause bodily harm to your child, which I have experienced in being abused, one second, and being let me read it. Which one is a different. Let me read it. I don't want okay, to. Okay. Well, can you read it? <laughs> I don't, like, I don't, girl, I'm I can't. Ready to I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't read and like listen to you speak. The brain doesn't okay, well, go that. Thank you, Gohan. Um, physical abuse. Uh, uh, sorry, one second. Physical abuse is any non-accidental physical injury, ranging from minor bruises to severe fractures or death, um, as a result of punching, beating, kicking, uh, biting, shaking, throwing, stabbing, choking, hitting, uh, with a hand stick. What? Sorry, with a hand stick strap or other object. Um, is that bumming? Bumming or otherwise heart. I'm sorry, it's burning. That's not that's an R, not an M. Uh, burning or otherwise harming a child that is inflicted by a parent, caregiver, or other person that has a responsibility uh, for the child right. or youth. Which such injury. I'm not done. I'm not done reading, please. Uh, such injury is considered abuse regardless of whether or not the caregiver intended to hurt the child. What are you reading? Because the same source says no. First of all. I it says it says words. physical discipline <laughs> one second not, listen, the only listen. i'm sorry i just found the part that you read source, but i told you i just i just that i told you to i just read, i just found they, the part i just found the part that you're talking about uh physical no, discipline I'm, 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 about to, I'm about to read it <laughs> you didn't read the whole thing so physical discipline such as spanking or padding is not considered abuse yeah, there's things that are considered abuse and things that are not. So all those things you just read about right. burning and hitting, right. yes, I agree. Right. That is right, abuse. Right, 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 right. But right. when you're spanking But I don't care what things a... are considered. What are you, you talking know what, about? You know what else wasn't considered abuse? Your ancestors being slaves. What? <laughs> Girl, is that wrong? We're not talking about that. We obviously know slavery. No, 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 no. But, but you're, but you're bit, talking, but you're talking about death. whether... Obviously, that's abuse. Right. Not, not all of them, because you're here, right? So... Um, um, I wasn't a slave. My ancestors. Your ancestors were. were. Mine right. were. Be for real. Anyway, right. so, 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 what does whether that or not of that I was. I'm gonna. Slave? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You're, I'm gonna tell you. You are so entitled, and you don't want to have entitled a to what? I'm. Be, I'm you're about you're, to this respond whole to live. You. I've been sitting here watching. You've been. I didn't do anything. Why are you freaking out? I'm not, Why are you freaking I, out? No. Calm down. Don't, don't deflect to me freaking out. I'm not deflecting. I'm. I'm comparing. Hey, and honey, you're not honey. Anybody out. All right, mods, put a muzzle on the dog, please. Lottie. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I can Lottie, do myself, yeah. actually. Thank you, actually. Right? Good girl. Right. So, oh, whether or not but something you're not entitled, is. Con- but you're not entitled. I'm very but entitled. entitled. I'm a very entitled person. I'm very entitled. Very, very. So, um, whether or not something is considered to be another thing doesn't mean that that thing is another thing. For example, our ancestors. Being a slave was not considered to be wrong. 
Is being a slave wrong regardless? Yes, that is a unanimous agreement generally that people have. So whether or not something is considered to be a certain way doesn't make it moral. So if your source says something different, then your source is conflicting with itself. If what I just read is not, uh, is, is not what you just read, then clearly this is not the source that you're looking for here, right? Because I just read from the source that you gave me, and so it doesn't ask, agree with are you. Are you asking me a question for me to answer? Right, because I'm asking you to make an you've actual You've been babbling argument. about slavery, and I thought this was about spanking as abuse. Do you, so. do you know what an internal critique is? I'm sorry, matter of fact, I'm sorry, not internal critique, an analogy. Do you know what an analogy is? Yeah, you're trying to use an analogy, but you're you're stretching it. it it's getting a little bit too much. Right. So where was where was the logical stretch? That doesn't that doesn't correlate, babe. Because that's oh, so slavery wait, wait, was a just harsh wait. punishment what was that I, was intended what was I, for what abuse. Was I, Everything what was is I about comparing? intent. So slavery was intent. No, it doesn't. For Your abuse. source literally says it's not about intent. Babe, you didn't read my Your source, source literally just have, I'm reading have, I'm reading no, from Co for Kids. Articles. They have many articles and you Right, so this would mean so honey, honey Hey, Maya, this would mean that the source that you're giving is not consistent or credible because it quite literally says <laughs> it is considered abuse regardless no, if I'm the laughing. caregiver intended to hurt the child or youth. It doesn't matter what the intention is. Your source just said that it doesn't matter what the intention is. It doesn't matter what the intention is if you cause physically bodily harm. That's you, literally you what it just physically said. physically bodily harm is not abuse. Period. Okay. I ate you up. Okay, so Correct. so so mental so mental abuse is not abuse. Mental abuse um, is abuse. That's why when verbal I verbal abuse is not here, abuse. Listen, that's why when I first came on here, I said to you, as in things that are not spankings are considered a punishment, such as taking privileges away can cause mental abuse, just as spanking does. Punishment, period, can cause mental abuse. I have friends who won't let anybody hold their phones I don't, I don't because care. as a child, I don't, I don't, they I don't were care taken about your away. Friends. I don't care about your so, friends. So I don't um, care what you so, care about, but I, it's an analogy. Anyway, so let's like, please you calm like down. To use, that's right? not an analogy. That's called an anecdote. That's not an analogy. You're not comparing anything. Oh, now you're she's not, the, you're not comparing. Logic. Now she's the English professor. <laughs> that's what analogy means, <laughs> y'all. I'm screaming. This is so funny. But what I will you say are is indeed. that that's you what are analogy very means. entitled. You gave an anecdote. You, you're uh, uh, entitled to what? Entitled to what? Anyway, so your source conflicts with you. Um, so I'm, I'm confused on what your argument is, Maya. My, for, my source does not conflict with me. What I said Thank was, you for the gifts, you guys. I just ate you up with the intent, right? If you, your intent is not to hurt your child, but you do, it's still abuse. But if your intent right. is to smack your child and there was no bodily harm, that's not abuse. Okay. So, right. You think that things do not, that do not end in bodily harm are not abuse. So mental and verbal um, abuse is not abuse to you no that's not what i said Mental that's literally what you just said verbatim if physical abuse does not if i'm sorry if leaving a mark in physical abuse it, I'm, I'm sorry if physical abuse is not abuse if it leaves a mark leave then a mark. if you tap somebody on your hand it doesn't have to leave a mark if you pluck somebody that doesn't have to leave a mark. what what is the definition of abuse my love babe i brought it up when i first came up here i need to pull up again right yeah so please do that again so we can make sure that you're that you're making sense here sure an act of slapping especially in the buttocks as a punishment for children this is from oxford babe that's not that's 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 called that's the definition of spanking i, I asked for the definition of abuse oh of abuse oh i'm sorry Oof. let me pull that up thank you for the roses um you got you got three right here so this one says, use something to bad effect or for the bad purpose or misuse. Yeah, so if you misuse spanking. So if you misuse discipline, then yeah, that's abuse? Yeah, if you misuse discipline, then it is considered abuse, yeah. Right, so how, so, right, so I agree that spanking is the misuse of discipline. And I disagree because if it's not- Right, so, right, so now we're getting child, somewhere, and why is that? And Yes, because if it is not leaving a mark on your child or causing them bodily harm, because let's be real, we're not going to get dense here. If you tap somebody on their leg, is that abuse? If you go ahead and you laugh it too hard, and you yes. slap your, if you slap your friend, jokingly, is that abuse? Yes, it can be. Oh, she's dense. She's dense. I, I get about it that what? I just said it can be. It's context dependent. No, listen, because I get it that it's 2024 and we're going to act really dense because like everything, what are you talking I don't about know what it is. 
I'm talking about how everybody is now. Like, we're going to sit here and act like tapping or plucking somebody is abuse. Because it's not. Right. It would be context dependent. Just doing it by itself would not be abuse. If you're, if you and your, if that's something that you and your friends do, then it wouldn't be abuse, right? Because it wouldn't be the sustaining of a particular power dynamic via violence, right? I thought you didn't care about my friends. I, that wasn't an anecdote. <laughs> Maya, that wasn't an anecdote. That okay, was just a I general just, statement. I just, I just, I just, I should have touched But listen, I only came anyway, up Anyway, Maya, I'm going to go ahead and stories. finish my statement. Um, go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and finish. You didn't read that source, my love. Um, I read the source. You chose a source it, from the org that you wanted to speak on. Honey, it was from your source. Hey, that wasn't the exact article and source. I was trying to help you out. It, and tell you, you just said you, you just said it. that the top said physical abuse, and then I just read that. And then you just read it. You know how that's many of their titles have physical abuse in it? Exactly. So that's why I asked you to give me the specific one. And that's why I tried to put in a chat so your mom could pin it. But you there are three thousand people, four thousand people in here. Wait, actually. but your mom just pin just replies. They to can't my pin. Before I got they up can't. Here. They can't pin, and I can't see it. Okay. I just told okay. you that. Look, he just responded to me again. Like, and okay, I can't see it, my love. Okay. Well, I cannot I just, see it. The chat moves very fast all right, for well, me. Well, I came in here to say my opinion, which was, I believe spanking is not abuse if you are not intending to cause physically Such injury is considered child. abuse regardless of whether or not the caregiver intended to hurt the child. You're, you're Ethan, thank you so much for the $20 Venmo. I appreciate you. $20.22. Thank you so much. Um, you you haven't, you haven't substantiated. Bigot, but anyway, what I was saying. How am I the bigot? Um, because you don't, I don't know, know why you're being, you don't know how don't to know listen why, to, a, can you, to what can people you, are saying. Can you stop being so belligerent, please? Because like, you're <laughs> just really like. Chill. Sorry, it's my personality, babe. Just like you're a bigot. Let's clock it. I don't think you know what bigot means, man. <laughs> but um, yeah, I came on here, y'all, for the people that are supporting me. Thank you. And I just want to say, spanking oh, is man. not abuse. If you tap your child to get their attention and to let them know that this is not okay, okay. and you are not leaving marks on them, the that is please. a form of discipline. Period. That's it, it and seems, that's all. It seems like Bye, y'all. A... Oh, oof, 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 oof. Can I get a yikes in the chat, please? Anyone? Anyone who was able to understand that, please come up and tell me exactly what her argument was. Hi, how old are you? I'm 23. What year were you born? I was born in 2000. Okay, so do you think that, be I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you think that spanking is abuse? I do. Oh, I'm looking but for people I, but, who think that wait, it's not wait, abuse. Wait. I do feel like, I felt like the girl that just came up, I feel like she was, I feel like she was basically not really telling the full truth because she wasn't. I, I read the source that she gave and she suddenly didn't read what I read. I don't know. Thank you so much exactly. for, the I, for the IC. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, for sure. If anyone wants to come up and tell me exactly what her argument was, feel free because clearly I'm confused. But you know, spanking does lower IQ. I don't expect much. I'm not going to lie to y'all. <laughs> I do not expect much. I do not expect much. Also, I cannot wait to try out this new foundation. Uh, Glohan, can you, I'm sorry, can you handle the guest for me, please, my love? Also, guys, I want to try, I can't wait to try this new foundation. It's the NARS, and I got this, I have no idea how to pronounce this. Marquise? 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 Is that how you spell that? M-A-R-Q-U-I-S-E-S, Marquise? Marquise? Right. She's starving. That brother's starving. Anyway, I did my color correcting and that, wait, actually, I did my color correcting. First of all, the concealer on the forehead, I have this one pimple right here and it did a really good job. Um, fuck. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hi. Hi, how old are you? I'm 53. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? Also, guys, no. I have the... Uh, sorry, one second. I have the one sides from Patrick Star. I got it in the shade Rich Peach. So for the new setting powder, I'm going to be using that today as well. Um, yeah, so why don't you think it's abuse? Um, I just don't. I think children need to be disciplined. Okay, so... Of course. Right, so why do you... Why do you Right, so why do you think that spanking is the appropriate way to do so, and that's not abuse? I mean, sometimes it has to be done. I mean, sometimes the children just don't learn by speaking to them. You know, you can okay. tell them over and over again something, and they just don't learn. And you think it's okay to hit that person then? Oh, yeah, a spanking, yeah. I mean, it depends on where you're going to spank them. I'm not going to, you know. Oh, so if a, husband, if a husband is having a miscommunication with his wife, it's okay for him to hit her? That's totally different. We're talking what's about the, children. What's the difference? 
we're talking about children. We're not talking about. Yeah, but uh, what's the logical difference between them that would make one okay? A and one child, uh, an, an adult. We're talking about an adult and a child that's learning. You know, an adult should know. So better. it's a so it. But what if they don't know better? Well, then I don't know. That's the different. I guess that that's a different issue. It's really not though. It's the exact same logic. It yeah. can't be a different issue. Yeah, I don't see it that way. That, but that's not how that works. What's the logical distinction that would make them different? Uh, an adult and a child. I said logical distinction. Uh, I, I would think that when you speak to a child, it's totally different than when you speak to an adult. I'm sure you believe that. So what is the difference that says that I can't hit? Like, if, why, why can't I hit my dad if he doesn't understand something? Because he's your father. <laughs> yeah, but like, what, what makes it wrong, though? Because you, you shouldn't hit a child. So what's, what makes it wrong, though? Of hitting an adult? Yeah, that's the question I've been asking. Um, I, you just saying it's different grown, doesn't, it's doesn't a tell grown, me it's a, You're talking about a grown person that, that should know better, that has the life experience. and. Okay, so as long as they don't have the life experience, it's okay for me to hit them? Sure. Oh, so like, say if my dad was disabled? It would be okay for me to beat my dad. That's so totally different. You're kind What's of the difference. You just you disagree to this logic. You're twisting things around. You literally just agree to this logic. What are you talking about? No, I did not. You're you're twisting things around. A, I said I said as long as a, a disabled adult, a elderly person. Right. So they wouldn't. So they wouldn't have is, the life. It's totally there. different than so a child so that's learning and right. So what is child, the what is, what is the logical distinction then? I think there's a big, dis I think there's a big, I know you think there's a big distinction. So provide it, please. I think it's all about the way you parent. You know, I think it's about, I, I don't think that adults have anything. I don't, I don't know why you keep saying things that are irrelevant to the conversation that we're having. If you're, if you're this fucking scared to engage in the conversation, I'm going to move on to the next person. This you is can, pussy shit. You can do that if you want. I'm fine with that. I'm just, all right. I'm, I'm just saying, I, like, I know you think it's different. I'm asking you what's the relevant distinction. Thank you for the hand heart, my love. Thank you all so much for the gifts. Oh, let's go on to the next person. Like what? Ooh. That IQ is IQing. Ooh. I cannot wait to try this. I hope I hope my makeup comes out good today. I was so excited to try all of this together. Um so guys, tell me how much you like this makeup. So so right now my foundation is the nars and then for my concealer i'm using the hourglass um and i'm i'm really liking how it looks so far this is my summer shade and i think it matches really well hi how old are you i am 22. what year were you born 2001. okay so do you think that spanking is abuse 100 percent. okay i'm just looking for people who think that it's not abuse Ooh, wow, wow 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 i feel like i it's appreciate you though mm-hmm if you got to get your kid to respect you through fear, through hitting them. Oh, you're a terrible person. Let's go on to the next person. I agree with you. I agree with you. Let's go on to the next person, y'all. Give it a second. Making people obey you through fear? What are you, nope. God? How old are you? 21. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? No. And why is that? I mean, re fuck the research and all that aside. Oh, no. Know. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. No. Put him back in the pen. Yeah. Put me in the pen? Yep. Why we need research to answer they that question? should have never freed your ass. Get him out. Mm -mm. You don't listen to research? Oh, fuck no. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Yeah, Woo! Hi oh, let's go on to the next person. Uh oh, put that man behind bars. It's getting caveman. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lord have mercy. Ooh. You know. Ooh. Ooh. Give it a second, y'all. We will get some more debates in. It just takes a while. Remember, if you are waiting in the guest request to come up, thank you so much for the heart, me, everyone. 
if you are waiting in the guest request to come up um but you are outside of the app it will not bring you in so please return to the app so we can bring you in effectively thank you i learned this from jackie Anna. so like put your concealer under your cheek hi how old are you thank you for the heart me i'm 27. okay so do you think that spanking is abuse no i don't and why is that um it's just mine yeah that's not a reason that's not a reason at all nothing ever is just is so abuse. why do you think it's abuse Right. So by definition, abuse is the maintaining of a particular power dynamic via the recurrent uses of violence. We understand that parents and children have obviously a power dynamic. And since the child will not be able to enact the same type of uh, violence upon their parents and their parents are able to do it to them, we understand that there is an unequal power dynamic there. Um, also, by definition, let's say like for example like police brutality we understand that police brutality is wrong um because police engage in a way that is unnecessary um because we understand that there's ways to detain people without hurting them or fatally wounding them we also understand uh that there are better ways to discipline children without resorting to violence which means that resorting to violence would be unnecessary and because it maintains this particular power dynamic and it harms them unnecessarily by definition it would be abuse okay okay and how would you discipline your child do you have any kids no you don't have any okay so how would you discipline your children in the given okay so can you give me it would, it would be it would be case dependent to the child okay so you said it would be case dependent so what would be the variety of ways that you would discipline your child whatever way would be necessary but you can't give us any reasonable examples or actual examples of the, the methods that you would use? There's therapy, there is therapeutic parenting. Okay, 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 okay. Um, anything else other than the therapeutic therapies that you mentioned? Can I think that's one of the best ways to discipline additional, Can you go into further depth as to what you mean by I'm not a child psychologist. Okay, so if you're not a child psychologist, but you have all of these, I guess, I can know when something is wrong and not know everything about psychology. Like, for example, I'm not a doctor, but I know that beating someone with the butt of your gun as a police officer is wrong. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So the reason why I say, and thank you for that, that, that long winded explanation. I definitely appreciate it. Um, the reason why I would say, and I actually have a child, um, that, I don't care. Oh, okay. You, you don't have to care, sweetheart. You don't have I don't to want to hear about your child, though. Just oh, okay. That now. So, okay. So, if you don't want, if you want us to explain, yeah. So, whatever require, because maybe you don't understand. Um, this is the debate platform, right? So, your de yeah. uh, debate platform would not require for you to talk about your personal experiences. You have no way of accounting for bias. I have no way of telling what you're saying is true. I have no way of accounting for your own bias. You have no way of testing this upon multiple different factors, right? So, your anecdotes will never be evidence. Your anecdotes are barely evidence in the court of law, right? So, like, this, is, this doesn't mean anything to me. It never will mean anything. So, I'm not going to let you yap about your lore and your children who you may or may not have. And I don't care if they actually do exist, right? Okay. What I require from you is peer-reviewed evidence. Do you understand? Peer-reviewed evidence. Yeah, you don't have to ask me if I understand. I understand. I'm just making um, sure you just, do. It's okay. But, but you're just it. throwing out a lot of word vomit and a lot of jargon that's quite frankly what, unnecessary. What jargon? What jargon? Um, so, yeah, you can review this. You can, if it's recorded, you can roll it back and you can listen to your own word vomit. Um, and it's word vomit when you don't understand. A lot of the jargon and the word like vomit words just sound like words just sound like sounds when you can't necessary. Read. Okay, gotcha. No worries. Um, anyways, like I was. So can you can you provide saying, a source, please? Do you have any sources? I actually do. Okay, yeah, pull them. Pull what them would you want one regarding? Pull them for me, sweetheart. Pull it. Go ahead. Right. So, what what would you want me? What you what would you want one regarding? Your sources. Regarding so what? Pull your sources. Regarding what? The the how child abuse or spanking is directly linked to, um, Damn. I guess. Damn. Mental, you know, mental instability, um, mental <laughs> health issues. Show me where spanking a child 
is directly linked to that. And it doesn't show any type of success in an adult when they become an adult. Oh, perfect. One second. Let me just go ahead and put Thank this you, on. Thank you, sweetheart. Finish beating that face. And then Thank give me you. Them, give me them records. Thank you. I will. One second. Mm -hmm. I'll wait. This is a really good puff chat. All right, so the study that I'm about to give you is called. Let me I don't see, need to know. I don't need I to will, know. I will. I will tell you. Just pull it. Not, honey, just pull it, baby. To, hey, just mom, pull it. put the muzzle on the dog. Anyway. Okay. So this so particular. Let, stop let, talking, let's please. step back a little bit. Let's, let's step back. No, don't. So um, it's called spanking and child outcomes, old controversies and new meta analyses. I was actually going to go over this. Turn it on. Turn before. it on. Don't don't mute right. my mic. So like, hey, we don't care. Honey, 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 honey. I'm giving you the like, please. Oh, shoot, Jackie. Thank you so much for the flying jets. Thank you so much. W Jackie. You trying to be number 25, Jackie? All right, so this is so this particular study it is a meta-analysis as well as a study, right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. This is a really good powder. Holy shit. Hold on. Hold on, Chad. Hold on. Hold on. Patrick Starr, you done did it again. Patrick Starr, you done did it again. Philip with the dinosaur! Hold on. Patrick, you done did it again. You sick fuck. Can you guys hear me okay? All right, be, t be quiet, please. So, really um, cool. so it's called, really quick, please, before, let me read the, you... please let me read the study. Please let me read the study. Please let me read the study. Please. Okay, so it's called Spanking and Child Outcomes. And what they did is they went over, I believe, um, thank you so much for the heart puff and the swan. Thank you so much. They went over, I believe, five I different- I want you to read please the study, baby. let me read the study. I want to see the study. I want to see it. I don't want I'm, you to read it. Right, so look it up. I'm giving you I the name and where it's from, my love. Show me. Screen share, please. Show me the study. I can't screen share. Because I'm on you, a phone. You, you throw you throw insults, sweetheart. And and throwing insults at people shows how I low throw insults and I'm right. So can you please just like look it up on your phone? You I have can, thrown I, for the entire 30 minutes. And, and, that I've been and but it still doesn't make me not right. You've thrown so please many stop complaining. Please stop complaining. And that shows Please your IQ. Complaining. You do not have a, a high Please IQ. Please stop complaining. You throw words on I think my IQ is actually average. I think most people are actually below average. You can't average. show us any credible sources because do you, you want play, me to, baby, you, sweetheart. Okay, so I guess I guess you want to see the PubMed article. Like You have 4,000 people in this live. I highly doubt that you only have one phone. I really do only have one phone. Flip the camera and show us the screen, sweetheart. Flip okay. the camera and show us the screen. Okay. This is show us the sources because you you throw out sure. so much word vomit and all sure. of these big words. Let's, um, let's 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 stop let's muting me. Trying to confuse the reader or no the listener. No one is confusing anything, but I guess I guess you need um. You're the one with the low IQ, little... baby girl. Okay, my love. Only people Whatever helps you sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so give me one second. You're okay, the one with the so low IQ. Is this what you're talking about, babe? Is it a dot org or is it a dot com? Honey, okay, this is PubMed. So I'll this is PubMed, my love. Okay, thank you for the credible source that it is a dot gov. I'll do my research, but your oh, throat are you done screaming people now? definitely does not show. I'm not screaming, honey. Are you, are I'm you just done? talking to do you, wanna, baby girl. Do you want to go I'm down the? Do you want to? Do you want to read the um? Let's you want to read the abstract for me? When was the last time it was revised in 2016? Let's talk about it. The last time Honey. this project was revised was in 2016. Let's talk about it. So this, right, that's this still thing a relevant is almost source. 20 year, 10 years old. It's almost 10 years old. Exactly. Almost. Exactly. And, and, that's, and that's research still, and knowledge relevant. is continued to elevate and, and, and continue to right, change. Right, every 10 as years. As time goes on, this is 10 years Wait, old. Nicole. Nicole. The way studies work is they are revised. Yeah, I know how every it's ten years. It's ten years old. It's it's almost ten years right, old. Right. So that girl. means so that so means this is it's, not a, it's still relevant. It's still a relevant source. It's my not life. a credible source, baby girl. Get something more it's than still ten. Years. It's, it's, it's newer it's than ten years relevant. old, baby. Do you want something that's well, newer source, than ten years? Let's old? not use that gov, a government that is known to brand.
people. Let's not you use know the what gov, that gov baby means? girl. Let's not use that gov. It, it's 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 a government funded site. Yes, I do. <laughs> I use my. I know my Honey, resources, baby girl. Man. I know this is a how to research. Hey, my yes, my love, a, this is a this is a critically acclaimed website. It's this a government a funded site, my girl. Let's let's talk about it. Do you, You're getting your honey, resources honey. from a site <laughs> that's total. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> You're giggling because you know I'm stating facts, Ooh, baby girl. Chat. Oof, chat. I don't know. Right, you made the right one today. So today I'm about well, to eat what your would ass I, up. What, you I'm, 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 I'm sure you would. I'm you know, abused you and you talk down. You talk be, down be who on who you are. That Do I comes into the lies that disagree. Opinion. You talk down to them. You insult them. I think it's good. I think it's good to talk. And down you to claim me. to have this a high IQ, but you don't do. I never claim to have a high IQ. You don't I do literally said, but read verbatim what you see on a site that was made by a government that that is known to oppress the race that you are. Let's 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 just be real. It's known. And you're upholding the same fuckery. That's the crazy the part. the race that you are, <laughs> and you're using that right, source as screaming? credible. And the source. And you're and you're perpetuating the same. And fuckery. the source is almost ten years old, baby girl. Again, with That's the with the with, with the trying to confuse and manipulate your audience, but you cannot manipulate me. Like I said, your sources are. old. They're not old. Sources are old. All right, let's you go have a low IQ question. because the like only thing you have time. to she's say having hard, having a hard time. She's having a hard time. Once I, I leave, cool you're going to insult this is me. This what yeah. happens when you get this is what happens when you get spanked. All right. Save your children the stress. And um, stop hitting your kids because they turn out like Nicole. They, they scream at their phone for 20 minutes for free. I look crazy right now with a powder on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I'm sorry. Uh, how old are you? 31. 93. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? No, I don't think spanking is abuse. It definitely does fall under the category of corporal punishment. I think, I think corporal punishment is abuse. I think, well, corporate punishment does have a specific definition compared to abuse. And when it comes to abuse, when we talk about that within the community, specific, there's so much to talk about when it comes to spanking and different factors that go aligned to it, specifically your cultural background, what your upbringing is. And sometimes in the corporal punishment definition, spanking is specifically on the bottom. Once it goes past that, it does become it does it does become abuse. And once we have that abuse conversation, abuse doesn't stop at physical. It can be mental. It can be the parents fighting. So there's a lot more. Yeah, so under I, don't, that I, don't bubble of abuse. I don't know why you're saying all this. I already believe that's abuse as well. So how is it not abuse? Can you say that again? Sorry, I didn't hear you. You're basing that you're basing this off of it being corporal punishment. I believe that corporal punishment is abuse. So what? Well, there's a well. You know, in the beginning, you were talking about different opinions and stuff, and you were saying this is an opinions debate. can be opinions can be wrong. So provide the evidence for it. No, I know you just said your opinion. You just said that you believe spanking. My opinion is substantiated oh by the evidence. Thank you so much for the fireworks, Jersey Suds. I appreciate you. Thank you, baby so so basically you just said your opinion but when you're talking about having a debate you cannot have opinion based conversations with a debate yes yeah, so because it does not, bring it does bring a little bit more personal information ash, to ash, it just like ash. the young lady i don't think you know what words mean so every every like worldview that you have is an opinion whether or not it holds to scrutiny will determine whether or not it's valid right jackie thank you so much for the money gun just having an opinion doesn't automatically make it valid. What makes my opinion valid is the fact that I have evidence to support it. Do you understand? Everyone has opinions. Every single study that we had started out as an opinion. Okay? That's... Please learn how words, like how words work and what they mean. Opinion doesn't automatically mean wrong. Opinion doesn't automatically mean right. Opinion means a particular worldview that you have and whether or not it holds up to scrutiny is based off of the evidence. Okay? 
So, can you just make an argument, please, and just... So, I will continue to make an argument, but as someone who has their degree in communication has doing, been doing this for 10 plus years, the way that you go about having these debates is kind I of very... For, I didn't ask for your I know, but I'll you put, didn't ask I'll for it. It's condescending as hell, okay. and it does Thank get you. very much... You do have the power, and I don't... All right. I, don't, I didn't ask. That's the crazy part, you know? The crazy part is I never asked. I have a degree in consent. So with that being said, there is corporal punishment. There are definitions. There are opinions. But when we're having right, debates, so provide the evidence, please. So the, the opinions, the the, uh, the evidence I do have when it does come to law, because that's really what's happening in 50 states. I don't, corporal, I don't hold to law. Well, but you just spoke about police. You, think, you just spoke about p police brutality in different police other cases. Is in not legal. That was not but, a legal argument that I was making. How are you? How do you have a degree in communications? And you don't know what the fuck I said. The, the reason why you're able to act like this is this is your platform, but I'm going to continue. So in different country, in different states, in 50 states, corporal punishment is legal, right? Outside of that, spanking on the I don't care about legality. I don't hold to legality. I don't know why you're talking about it. I don't understand why you have a debate platform and you mute people. Because and then you're, I, you're arguing a stance that I don't have. And I don't care to hear you yet. Then why do you have a debate channel if you can't have because a debate conversation? Honey, honey, honey. This wouldn't be a debate conversation. You're arguing a stance that I didn't have. Right? What sense would it make to let you yap about an argument that I never made? So, like I said, you asked me if spanking is you asked me if spanking is abuse and I'm giving you the definitions of having a debate with you and once I provide that information from there you're supposed to grab that and then have a rebuttal. But the issue is there is not yeah, a but form. You're, you're responding to what I said, and that's not what I said. So you're responding to an argument that I never made. So with that being said, there is no my <laughs> there is there's different things that come into place when having this conversation. You cannot just place it under one category, but you can be you can have your own feelings about this certain situation. And that's what you're having. But when it comes to literally right having this conversation, there are real people that right are. Now. Let's go ahead. Let's. Uh, so. Do so you are think, you? I just, you I just don't got, understand let, just, why you have. Go ahead. Let's just let's just go ahead because it seems like you're not grasping here. Well, I am just grasping me, it, but the issue please, is that you have never Ash, had a conversation with someone that can put eat you up alive in a face to face and, conversation. But this is your plot. Honey, I started out debating in face to face conversations. The issue I'm having is you do not do have the ass. confidence to let people speak and you continue to mute them Ash, because you don't you are have addressing the addressing an argument that I never made. You are addressing an the argument. The way that you raise your voice that tells me that you know with. that you're in the wrong and you can't take an L. This is I'm not going to be able to take an L. I know it hurts. What are you? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're. It, it I'm hurts. See, I'm not stupid like the other lady who got on here and said debatable. .gov isn't Heavily real because debatable. the government. Heavily I know the difference Ash. between .gov. I know the difference between .org, and Ash. I know when you do the research. Ash. You said Ash. research is done by opinions, but in reality, it I never said that research is. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This You how literally you, just said fact. How are you, you just a said, communications You major? literally just said research is done based off someone's opinion from the beginning. Say, you said everything no. is opinion. You're getting ate up alive Ashley, and I really Ashley, wish you would just focus Ashley. on makeup because that's your team. Ash, but the Ash, way that you're having Ash, a debate Ash, with someone, you will not Ash, let someone Ash, please. Ash, please. That's Ash, right? I what what is the fact Ashley. that you keep muting you <laughs> Ashley what is the definition of an opinion? Let's look it up. What is your definition of an opinion? You know the definition of opinion, but you keep muting me. Right. So an, opi an opinion would be like let's let's. You know I'm winning. You know I'm winning. You know I'm winning. I'm eating you up. Mute me. Mute me again so you can get it off. Because at the end of the day, you don't have any factual based stuff you, except you, for you, org. Ash, no. You, keep are you, going. Are you, are, you are you done? Because I'm not done. You, we can go all day. Because I'm eating you up. I'm not stupid like that last lady who came on here and said dot .gov know, isn't Ash. a real thing. Ash, I don't know There's a difference that. between dot .gov, dot .org, and research. You have to look what at the people and the about? people that they're doing research behind. So are who, were the fa who were the factors in that case? Where were their families? Who were the people getting in that about? argument that you said you brought up that what medical you, you, journal? Ash, you're pivoting? No, 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 no. Pivoting. We're going to go back. Ashley, you brought up, stop you brought up that medical journal, Ashley. right? Ashley. First of all, my name's not Ashley, and I, I never called you out your name. So my name is, so my name is Ash. So, so whatever. Um, at, you keep pivoting, and I don't like. I don't think. I don't know if you think that what you're doing is a debate. 
I we'll don't know. How, I don't, you're not we'll making any pivoting. arguments we'll here. We'll stop pivoting. We'll stop pivoting. Tell Ash, me where Ash, those. Ash, calm down, please. Study. Ash, calm down. It's please. Oh, now I have to calm down. But she was getting up. So where were the studies? Where were getting the groups of studies? What were the groups of studies that? The groups of studies. You mean the meta analysis? Yes. Yeah, so give me that so I can research it right now on my laptop to see what the group case studies were revolved around. Who were the people? These were not. These were not case studies. These were meta analyses. So you have, you have. Do you want a case study? That's more. That is honestly, truly, that is a better argument because you can go into different factors. Because some of them, again, it is how your household is. Ash, what is. is a case study? Oh my goodness! Wait, what is a case study, Ash? Ma'am, don't try me. No, please just answer the question. What is? What do you think a case study is? Give me the. Give me the the whole thing of where the 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 medical journal it's that you're talking about. Then, see, you're stuck on specific words, and I'm really trying because, to get to because, this debate because with you. Because these specific so words tell me, mean specific things, Ash. So when you so use tell specific me. words, I don't know what you're talking so, no, about. No, no, no. So case study, someone just said it, trauma that already exists. So you can look into different households and see how that has been affected and bring that to a conversation, you can want, you not? What do you, want, what do you want from me, Ash? I you want you about? to go and do the debate. Give me the login of the information that you said, the information, the website that you said from you're the doctor. You're talking about the meta-analyses that I said? I decided? want to read it. Please give me the the information i want to read it while i'm having this debate want, with you do you want the code for it from pubmed so give me the whole website because that's how i'm going I, to right so it's the national institute of medicine right i mean i, I should i'm saying the national library of medicine do you want the code yes please so the i can PMC read it code? and i can give you the rebuttal of what you're reading please and see if that oh, makes okay, sense Ash, so here's the pmc code it's pmc seven nine nine two one one zero PMC seven nine nine two one one zero. Yeah, bruh, bruh. Like a dungeon dragon. Bruh, bruh. And he's old as fast. Oh. Anyway, y'all, we're gonna go in and contour and bronze with the Rem Beauty in the shade Espresso Martini. Looks very good on this. Hmm. Ooh. Looks very velvety. Oops. Are you going to read the entire study right now? Can you let me get the information so I can have a rebuttal towards you? Why are you so angry right now? Ma'am, the same energy I'm giving you is how you've been giving everybody on here. Literally. Literally. I'm, I'm, just, trying, I'm just trying to figure out if you found the study, I'm baby. trying to figure out why you have animosity towards people. I understand this is your, your pain. I have animosity towards oh, people. Oh, it's very condescending, children. Buki. It's very condescending. It's, it's Thank okay you. to have a, it's okay to have a debate and then state facts and then All these gifts are blocking my rebuttal. view. I just want to let you know so, that librarians who study this, they read the, uh, the abstract and then the conclusion. You don't have to read the entire study. So based off of, it says, where are we at? What paragraph is this? So basically this study, this is literally the preview. Jordan, thank you so much for the $5 cash. She needs a Snickers. <laughs> hey, look, I do too, to be honest. I'm kind of hungry. So basically in this study, they didn't even study it says it excluded any meth any methods that would knowingly cause severe injury to the child. Yes. Why did they do that? Because if if you're talking about spanking, which is under corporal punishment, that definition aligns with their study. They were not looking for people. No, 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 no. Okay, who literally, so. literally. Okay. I just literally went I'm gonna and show looked, you why. and I know you're upset. I too would be mad. And while I'm we're not here. Upset. While we're here, that bronzer, that bronzer is way too red for the neck. Go a little bit cooler. Just going to help you out. No, with I that like being it when it's said, like this. With, I, you, I with that dry. being said, with that being said, the information literally in, in how many minutes did it take me? Not even that long. 
You right, cannot, so why did they do that? You cannot hold this Have up. Have I taken someone a, for the five dollar cash app? You, you cannot hold this up in an argument on a public platform. Literally, not not including different arguments attached to what abuse is. You think spanking is abuse? There's people who have actually literally gone through abuse Ash, from their parents and why spanking did they someone. Why do that? Because they tell you. Why did they do that? Why did they exclude that? Why did they do that? They literally tell you in the study out of all the people that has come up on here Jordan, no, love, thank you so much for the five dollar cash app i appreciate you why did they do that jordan thank you for the five dollars it tells you why they did that i can tell you why they did that i can tell you why they did that you want me to tell you why they did that so if you know, then tell me then. You're here to have a debate. And if right. you want to educate somebody, then go ahead and stop it being childish. Ash, so Ash, eat it up. Ash, go. What, Ash, stop being so angry. All right? Anyway, so the reason I find it interesting is, as a black woman, I just really I love please, when you guys be like, don't be here. don't be so angry, but you are Anyways, literally the most childish, right. angry person right all now right, when someone right. is. We love the microaggressions. It's really weird. It's getting weird now. Okay. How is it getting weird when I'm giving you're, the exact same it's, energy? It's getting weird. It's getting weird. It's getting weird. All right, stop, please. Anyway, so the reason that they did that is because, one, the entire first part of this study goes over a meta-analysis, right? It is a meta-analysis of, 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 I believe, five different studies, right? And the thing that was an issue for them within these five studies is that these five studies included things such as parents using belts, switches, paddles, right? And so they excluded that because they thought, okay, this wouldn't really help our research because most people would already agree that using a paddle or a belt may be abuse. So they excluded everything that most would already agree could be abuse. And so in the study that they did under it, they limited it to just hitting with your hands. Chelsea, thank you so much for the $5 cash app. And that is why I love this study. They excluded every outside thing that would include some type of weaponry and said this is only focusing on parents spanking their children with their hands now please read the conclusions so with that being said your title is very much it's very much misleading because it should say is spanking your child with your hand and abuse you said spanking. no i think it's all abuse no see but you just you're bringing up an article that's only talking about spanking with the hand so are is your article Ash, so reason, you just bye, bye, bye. Ash, i let you speak really i literally thing. let you speak and my my thing was not muted so with that being I'm said, you just said, I'm going to tell you why, because you're not nope, understanding. Nope, I literally the just meta analyses, go. The meta-analyses, oh, right, they all came to the same conclusion. This study just wanted to be more specific. Okay? Thank you. That is all it is. Now you can speak. Where is my other brush? It's the fact that you keep, you keep muting me, and I was unmuted, and I let you speak. See, that's the difference between you you're and I when it comes to debating. You're going to let me speak debating. regardless, but I was, I was correct. Because you're you going to mute something... me. Honey, and I, so you, let me correct you, you. Ash, Ash, if you say something incorrect, I have to correct you when it happens, because I don't know how long you're going to keep talking. Okay. Chelsea, thank you so much for the $5 cash app. Thank you so, so much, So with Chelsea. that being, with that Chelsea, being so said. Gifts, everyone. Also, with... as much as you gift them, I get a lot of their gifts when you gift them, so... Thank you okay. for the money in that too. With that being said, your title is misleading because you are not. saying you are saying you want to. Yeah, thank a you so much for the three dollar cash app. I appreciate you. You want to have a convert. You want to have a now, conversation. Now, thank you so much for the three dollar about... cash app. I appreciate you, baby. So, anyways, I think this is just gonna be. Um, after this, I'm gonna let you be because my thing is, I really don't mind having debates with people. It's when it's very mature. And it comes to a conclusion. You didn't read it. Chelsea, thank you so much for the $10 cash app. You didn't read the study, my love. You didn't read it. So you are talking about a study, but thank you sp you specifically you talked about them using one case and they took out the other cases. And now you're telling me to read the conclusion. So no, is it, the whole it is study? a meta analysis and another. This is like one of the best sources. Like it is a meta. An Do you know what a meta analysis is? Like meta analyses are the best case studies. Like, are you kidding me? Do you know what you a know meta analysis what? is? Yes, a meta analysis is an analysis of multiple studies to come to a particular conclusion. It is it is an objective breakdown of every study included, right? So they went over five different studies and then did their own study to make these other studies stronger. 
This is one of the best sources we have on corporal punishment. What are you talking about? All of the other studies where they included weaponry and discipline said that it causes harm. They went a step further and said even just hitting with your hands causes harm. You didn't read it. That's why I asked you. Read the abstract and then read the conclusion. Please do so, Ash. I am begging you. I am begging you to read the abstraction and conclusion. You seem very confident. So please, abstraction and conclusion, please. Joseph, thank you so much for the $3 cash app. And Leah, thank you so much for the $10 cash app. I appreciate you. So with that being said, did you find whatever, would you, did you find the part of the study? So with that being said, I am a grown woman and the difference between you and I is uh, I know I can say when I'm wrong and it does say that it does include on a lot of things. No, Gohan, don't mute her. Don't, uh, don't, don't remove them. I'm sorry. Oof. It didn't seem like she had a rebuttal anyway. Hi, how old are you, boo? Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Hi. How old are you? I'm 25. Cool. So do you think that spanking is abuse? Um, I do think it's abuse, but there is, for, for me, there is a, a line where it is it is abuse but then you have to think if you think it's abuse i'm just looking for people who think that it's not abuse i don't, well, I don't... for me it's it's like a how do i say it it's a it's there's like a line there because it is abuse but then it's like it's also like a disciplinary action. Discipline can be done via abusive means. They are not mutually exclusive. exclusive. I don't right. know why people keep saying that. You have to not know what the word means. Right. So with the disciplinary action, though, it is what else can be done in in terms of because whatever without, the gentlest means is. Spanking, Leah, thank you so much for the $10 cash. App. I appreciate you, my love. Without the spanking thank you so aspect much. to it then how is it that your your children do you seriously not know how to communicate with people outside of violence no yeah but okay then then the way that works but as a mother sometimes or as a parent sometimes you shouldn't have children you, you don't have many other things to go about it then you shouldn't have children do you, if you think children? it if you think it is morally permissible to put your child's mental health and physical health at risk because you as a parent are tired or this isn't what you signed up for it's time to give that child no, to another it's, person it's not who that. Is, i'm not done speaking i'm not done speaking it's time to uh give that child to a family who is able to have the resource to take care of them in a way that doesn't subjugate them do you uh jack thanks so much for the five dollar cash app huh do you have children absolutely not so when you have those kids i will not um, be having those kids so when but as an example when you have your kids sometimes it is it's something that you can't really regulate sometimes and Cara, i think it's that you can't uh, regulate violence towards your children no Cara, thank you so much for the five dollar cash up i it appreciate depends you. because it does not depend you, if, if, if at you, any point i feel violent towards my own child or right, any child, you take a break you yeah, take you a break and you, alone. you're a dangerous yeah. person to be around at that point but sometimes and it's not it's not like spanking it can lead to abuse but it is abuse. that's it why you regulate abuse. that that's why you, you regulate that Adrian, a, a, ariana you ariana ariana it yes. is abuse it doesn't lead to abuse it is abuse but when i don't know why you keep saying this spanking on the butt or popping on it is the abuse head. why are you touching your child's ass that's what i want to find out no you're spanking right so why are you hitting your child's ass it's that it's like the conditioning where of you, you thinking it's okay to hit a child's ass 
Well, that's why it comes into you. You have to think about it sometimes. Where I'm, I'm begging you way, to think about it. Do Ariana. you know? Do you know another way to to discipline your child? Then, or not saying you have one, but can you think? Whatever the gentlest means would be to be able to communicate with my child effectively, that does not require violence. It is child dependent. It is case dependent. There is redirection. There is therapy. If the only outlet you, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm saying this right now. If the only outlet you have or the only outlet you can afford is violence, you should not have kids. Well, that's not the only way to. Right. So violence should never be an option within the context of disciplining a child. But there's a limit. No, there is There's not. So that. violence should never be an option within the context of disciplining a child. I mean, I suppose, but... Are you a single you... parent? No. Okay, then. Right. So it seems like you would have the resources to not need to resort to violence with children. Right, but... Are you stretched thin? You, like spanking or popping are you also putting popping your children on the hand and that, that is abuse well? that is abuse so how do okay, you so here's what happens here. child. here's what happens here's what happens um can i punch my child with the same force it would take to pop them no why not because that what would mean that because you, you're you're close handed hitting your child. That's what's what's what why why does that matter? Why is that relevant? Because that has a that has the effect to where you're actually why you're you actually hitting them. Where are you getting this from? You're hitting them regardless. But close handed is different from open handed yeah. when yeah, you're yeah. I know. I know. Child. These these two motions are different. But what's the relevant distinction? Is the question. I'm saying that punching someone is a lot different than popping them. Right. 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 I, I know. I know. I heard you. But there's I know. A I heard limitation. you. Right. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask you the question again. There's, so if I were to punch the child with the same force I used to tap them on the hand, is that wrong? And why? I know it that a punch wrong. is You're different from a tap. That hurts yeah, but why a is lot. that? But why is that wrong though? You can't. And, and, it, and it wouldn't hurt. Does it, does and it, does it also it has to do with the social. Wait, Ariana, stop talking. Stop talking. Does a tap hurt? Yes or no? Well, it depends. What kind of force are you using? Are you good? Okay. A tap that doesn't hurt, Ariana. Please critically think. A tap that doesn't hurt. Whatever you view as a tap in your head, the same thing. Okay, the exact same force. I punch the child with the same force I would use to tap them. Why is it different? You can't just punch them though. That's that's wrong. The and question also, is what Ariana Ariana Ariana, children, Ariana I don't children. care about your kids. I don't care about your kids. Why is it different? It's different because you're using force. You're using excessive you force. You are using the same force as it would take to tap them, Ariana. No. And it's different too. Ariana, that, that is what I just you can't do told. It that hard. Ariana, Ariana, you tap someone, you punch them with the same force you use to tap them. How is it wrong if the force is the issue? Punching is punching someone is very different from tapping the kids them are on fucked. Their hand Let's move on to the next person. Popping them on the butt. Let's go on to the next person. Them kids are fucked. Ariana, please just stay in the comments and learn something. Because the comprehension skills are not there. 30 point canyon. 30 point canyon. So in case you guys don't know what I'm referring to when I say that. Um, when communicating with people, if there's a 30 point IQ difference between you and whoever you're talking to, communication is impossible. Hi, how old are you? I'm 20. What year were you born? 2004. Okay. So do you think that spanking is abuse? I do. Oh, period. I'm just looking for people who don't though. Oh, okay. You ate that down. Ate the house down boots. Stop okay. Yeah. Cause I'm not, I'm not sure what these delusional boots <laughs> Um, the nose is a little heavy, so I'm going to lighten that up. Oh, 
Oh, Lord. Hi, how old are you? 20. What year were you born? 2004. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? Absolutely not. And why is that? It's disciplining your child. Right, so what's the definition of discipline? Uh, I don't know. Damn, that's so crazy. So why would you use a word that you don't know the definition for? Oh, you're 17? Hi. All right, all right. All right, you tell me what it is then. Tell me what this one is. Y'all fuck with heavy metal? Y'all fuck with heavy metal, y'all. That's what I need. It always helps me calm down after a long day. Hi, how old are you? I'm um, 25. Wait, you were you born? Uh, 1999. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? Um, I well, I just wanted to like come on to like talk on the fact that everyone else said I don't get like how your question wasn't clear in terms of the same force as a punch to like a flick it's the same force yeah i don't that, that's why i you can't save them you know mm -hmm. but all we can do is try to help the next generation that does know how to read and like, does know how to comprehend i know baby it, hey you down to hey. um the case hey, man. Like the, the meta study you did like you you essentially summed up everything you guys just hey, baby. Gotta, like, listen to the points that's being made Hey, Daddy, look. <laughs> look. Like, <laughs> like we well, okay. can't save everybody, baby. That's what I'm, I'm like, even down to your question, I will say one point was made of like the is spanking abuse because that was like kind of misleading with the, the hands thing. Because when you get into like spanking, it's a physical like your hands, but no one is using a weapon to spank someone. That's that's common. Well, it's just, I, I, well, I thought that was a colloquial term like spanking is just like hitting Hand. a child as a form of discipline. Exactly, like spanking, like, you know, like this. Well, but I thought that that would include, but if not, if it, if it becomes, like, I don't know how to make it more specific. Me, like, I'm Caribbean. Um, but if that's so, the only thing. Like, and being, like, Guyanese, like, that's my upbringing. So, like, when they say they're going to spank you, it's usually hand. If you're going to get a beating, it's going to be whatever they can find. So. Oh, I'm, well, this this just seems like a matter, a, a difference of, like, uh, like language and then colloquial. Exactly. Regimes. Okay, so I yeah. think in terms of like simple language, like spanking is abuse. If you're gonna use it to discipline your kids, then you know I, I was spanked growing up. I'm, I feel like I'm okay, but then there's like people out there who like were spanked and they're are not very okay. much not like like and a like, good forty yeah, exactly. percent of the chat. But I I appreciate you though. I, but I gotta move on to the next person, my love. Love y'all. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Love you too, man. Like, thank you for ending the cycle. Hey. Yeah, because I'm like you know, pick up a book. It's Please. <laughs> Read, I beg you. I beg. Y'all fuck with heavy metal, though? We finna. Y'all so soft? You're too hard. Being hard is, is like, please. Oh, goodness. Um. quickly we're gonna go in with the juvia's place blush it's in the uh in the color volume four we're gonna cover the cheeks uh and then we're gonna set down with the um where is she at oh yeah with the patrick star one size setting spray so we're gonna see how it works hopefully it doesn't turn my face white that's gonna be really embarrassing <laughs>
Hi, how old are you? 31. I didn't actually expect you to answer this. What was up? Cool. So do you think that spanking is abuse? No, not really. And why is that? Coming up, I was spanked and... I don't care. Not That's necessarily not spanked as in my mom. And I don't and I don't and I don't give a fuck. This is a debate platform. Yes, true, but so, so all my I love, hey my love, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this boundary with you. I didn't ask for your fucking lore. I didn't ask for your lore. Not one time. Okay? So when you come up here, I require for you to make an argument. That argument does not include okay. your personal life. I do not give a fuck, okay? <laughs> so the only way I have is to basically pull from personal experience. Now, if you oh, just want an argument, no, then. spanking is nope. not abuse simply because spanking for children, children, if that's what we're talking about, is a consequence of their actions. And that's what we have in the real world. Now, there are worse Consequences things than spanking. Abuse. Say again? Yes, there are, there are worse things than spanking. That doesn't mean that spanking is an abuse. That's exactly what it means. No. There's always something that's worse. Falling into a so black hole is worse than getting raped. Nicholas, falling into again? a black hole is worse. Falling into a black hole is worse than getting raped. Is getting raped not abuse? Yeah, but those two things are two extremes. There's not even what we're talking about. What the fuck are you talking about then? What do you that... mean two extremes? Why do you care? Why do you care about extremes? You're you brought up extremes. It doesn't matter. It's a reductio ad absurdism. How am I ignorant? You didn't know you, what? Anyway. Hi, how old are you? Please. You can't stand me, but you're here. I refuse to believe y'all really hate me. You fuck with me heavy. Just accept it. Ew. Um, like four thousand people in here, and you hate me. Yeah, because it's a debate. <laughs> anyway, Cause it's a debate. anyway, because it's a debate. Anyway. Obviously, people are anyway. gonna hate you. How old are you? Twenty. But you, obviously, for? people are gonna hate you. It's a I debate. I know, but it's like, but the fact that they complain about hating me just feels so weird. Like. You fuck with me. You fuck with me, Loki. And you're mad Ow. that you fuck with me. That's why Ow. you're here. Ow. Not you. I don't know who you are. Anyway, so where were you born? 2004. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? No. Okay, and why is that? Because it's a form of discipline. Wait, what's the definition of discipline? <sighs> the practice of training people to obey rules. Or right, so can this be done behavior. via Huh? Right, so that's it. So what you're citing here is the Oxford definition. Can this be done via abusive means? Pardon? Right, so what you're citing here is the Oxford, defi Oxford definition. Can this be done via abusive means? So you're saying that... Oh, so you're I saying asked, you a, I asked you a question. Yeah, so you're saying, saying that the Oxford definition is wrong. I didn't say that the Oxford definition is wrong. I asked you, can, can discipline be done via abusive means? Can people be disciplined through abuse? Yes. But it's not abuse though. Right, so does that... But it's not abuse though. Okay, so if I... So if you touch someone lightly, is it abuse? It depends. It's context dependent. So why is it different? Right, because if you are doing it... If, if, if what you were so if doing... I backhand, is... If I backhand slap someone, is that abuse? I'm going to go ahead and answer the first question you gave here. So just tapping someone could constitute as abuse. If you are using it as a, to as a form of violence and intimidation, in order to maintain a particular power dynamic, then it would be abuse. Oh, you're not um, even 20? But when it's about... Graduate... When... What year did you graduate high school, my love? Why? Answer the question, please. No. Oh, anyway. I was the next person. Okay. Memory, yeah, fix that blush though. Fix that blush though. Honey, I do drag. It's never enough blush. This is less than I usually have on, okay? Oh, Hello. Hi, how old are you? 21. What year were you born? 2003. You're really muffled. Can you, uh, do you have your headphones in or something?
Much better. Can you hear me now? Much better. All right. So do you think that spanking is abuse? No, it's not abuse. And why do you think that? Because oh it's gosh. a form of discipline, and are you already going to ask me the definition mm -hmm. of discipline? Yeah. It, were you disciplined? I mean, yeah. how were you disciplined? Can you define that? the goddamn word, all this yippity yap? Find the word. No, can you answer the goddamn if question? I, if, I'm, I'm, if I don't, if I don't, if I don't want anecdotes in my life, why would I give you my own? Assume I'm AI. I have no past. Were, 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 did you have a spanking when you were young? Assume were you I'm spanked? AI and I have no past, my love. Go ahead and define what? the word that you just used. Go ahead and define the word. No, you go ahead and answer the question that I. No, oh. no, no. You answer the question. Girl. Only no way. Hi, how old are you? Daya or Tia? Tia? All oh, right, I'll get her. Oh, um, hey. how old are you? I'm 24. I didn't actually mean to join the live. Sorry. It's okay. It sounded like it. I appreciate your time. <laughs> Let's go on to the next person. No problem. Bye. Thank you so much. Let's go on to the next person, y'all. Give it a second. We will get some more debates in. Please be patient. Let me tell you something. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but honey, I've done everything. People don't read, so it doesn't really matter. Hi, how old are you? 24. And what year were you born? 2000. Cool. So do you think that spanking is abuse? No, spanking is not abuse. Yeah. I just feel like yeah. when you don't spank your kids, you get products like you. Like, because you just... <laughs> You don't know how to act like yeah. <laughs> I get you products don't like me. Crazy. Like you on here talking Kiki, crazy really quickly. Kiki, Kiki, really quickly. Yeah. How many continents are there? How many continents is there? Yeah. What, what does that have to do with this? Like what is that? I don't know. I think time? people who turn out like you me at least know, like kindergarten level. Like shit, no, you know? I'm saying so. like you get products of people like you when you don't know how to like <laughs> You don't, and, you don't and then we get products so of people know like how to talk right. To so people. people, so people who get spanked end up like you, and you don't know how many continents there are, or which one you're do you even have on, kids? because because spanking lowers IQ, my love. Hey, 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 hey! Do you got kids? Hell no. Okay then. So why do you how, talk wait, about spanking? How, how old are you? About? One second. How old are you? I'm 24. You're 24, and how many kids do you have? I have one kid. Are you married? No. What What does that mean? Oh. So. End up like who? <laughs> wow! Okay. Let's go on. Hold on. I'm not even gonna say that shit. Hold on. I'm sorry. Work out. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. Stuff don't work sorry. out in real sorry. life. You be trying. Sorry. To... Sorry. No. I don't, Absolutely I don't... not. Uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. End up like who? End up like who? Like you? <laughs> anyway, sorry. Happy and childless. How old are you? I'm 28. Okay, so do you think do you think that spanking is abuse? No, not really. Why is that? I just think it's a form of corrective measure. Right. So, the, can corrective measures be done via abuse? Yeah, I mean, pretty much anything can be done via abuse. Right. So then, explain how spanking is not abuse. Okay. If it's, then, if it's not because it's corrective measure, then it's irrelevant. Verbal. I mean, verbal can be abuse. I didn't, um, we're not talking about verbal, so can you explain we how are, spanking we, is not abuse? It's just not, just how verbal can be abuse, this can be abuse. Right, no, by you're definition, dumb I, you're dumb as fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> just saying I'm dumb doesn't make me dumb. <laughs> It's like we're in the fucking third grade, bro. What the fuck? Who are you people? This is the result of spanking? <laughs> How old are you? Hi. 
I'm 24, or I will be 24 in August. <sighs> okay, so what year were you born? 2000. Okay, so do you think that's banking is abuse? I personally think so. Um, I have two kids. Oh, you I'm think it is abuse? I do, yes. Hey, stop right there. Stop right there. You wake that shit up. Chat, W guess. <laughs> Can, can, I explain, can I explain my reasoning behind this too? If you, may, you can make it really quickly. Okay, I will. Um, my, I went through a domestic violence situation and my daughter, who is five, we had to put her in therapy. And one of the first things her therapist said is that we, the parents need to stop doing anything physical to the kids for corrective measures. From a licensed child therapist. There are plenty of other things you can do than physically overpower a child. Ooh, chat, can I get a gagget in the chat? Gagget? See, parents like, like uh, what's your name? M McKenna? McKenna. Yeah. Yo, parents like McKenna ending the cycle of abuse and violence stemmed from millennials. Oh, gagget. Can I get a gagget in the chat? You really shouldn't even be a parent if you feel like you have to physically overcome your child to control them. Gag it, McKenna. Thank you so much, baby. Ooh. See, what I love is a safe parent. Can I get an amen in a chat? Mm -hmm. Gag it. Gag it. Thank you so much. It gives me chills. It gives me chills <laughs> when I see nonviolent parents. Thank you so much, my love. Ooh. Gag it. Fucking gag it. Well, huh? Bring up the next person. The next victim. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We love a safe parent. We love a safe parent! Hello. How old are you? 18. What year were you born? 2005. Cool, so do you love- I'm sorry. So I was say, do you love a good parent? No, I do. <laughs> I do love a good uh, parent. Do you, I do love a good parent. <laughs> do, you, do you think spanking is abuse? Um, to an extent, yes. And that extent being? Because I think all spanking is abuse within the context of discipline. I'm agreeing with you on that. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I do agree. Speaking in the context of discipline is incorrect. But again, to an Cam, extent. Thank you so much for the gals. Yeah, so what, what extent is it not abuse? To an extent. What um, is the extent? Because certain parents, certain sets right, of parents. So, and again, I'm not, again, I'm not saying that it's right. What before you, you start, I, before yeah. you start, before you start hollering and screaming, let me speak. But let know me speak. Let me speak so I can tell you. Let me speak so I can tell, let me speak so I can tell you. Let me speak so I can tell just you. Get, just, just go. Cause you, just anyway, go. Yeah, I mean, you keep talking. I can't talk if you're talking. Yes, you can. I just asked I you a question. I can't. Just I'm go! I'm going to answer your question if you would stop talking. Just go! Stop talking. Just go! Stop talking so I can why speak. Why are you tweaking? Just go. I'm not tweaking. You're yelling. If we agree, why are you bitching out? Like, I'm, I'm not. I'm confused, Jeff. I'm not. It's on? just the fact that you're yelling. But the point is... I yell all the time. There are, there are certain situations with certain parents specifically single mothers and again i'm not saying that it's right but there are single mothers who have multiple sets of children a lot of children um my mother for example has a lot of kids and again i'm not saying that she's right in this situation but there are certain situations where you spank your child because they're acting the fool sometimes putting them on punishment doesn't work taking away things doesn't work it just sounds like your mother shouldn't have had all them damn kids uh... sounds like your mother's really irresponsible uh no my mother's a great parent um but she not hit the you point though, though. so <laughs> hit me i don't know i don't know how my mom didn't hit me but that's not the point though um you talked about you talked you brought up your mother right and then you brought up the fact that your mother has a lot of kids and then you also brought up the fact that she would spank kids i didn't your say mother... my mother spanked them i said oh, my mother so for is... an example has a lot of children oh i'm not saying she does then let's not bring up anecdotes. Sorry for that confusion. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm Sorry gonna for that confusion. That, right. So let's not bring up anecdotes, okay? But so you're just you're just talking about the subjectivity of morality, and I don't care. Sure, you could say that. Um, you're just saying in certain households that, it wouldn't be wrong. No, I'm not saying. I just said that I'm not saying that they're not wrong. I do believe that it's incorrect. But you I'm have asking to think you of, for the extent. you have to think you have to think about the subject matter of it and the situation and the basis. I don't of think it. there's any situation that should allow abuse. I think people should just should not just should not have kids, right? If you can't afford, I mean, the baby, in certain situations, in certain situations, you can't have you don't have a choice but to have the child. If you can't feed yeah. the baby, then don't have the baby. In certain situations, 
you do not have a then choice if, but to have the child. Oh, do you think in those particular contexts that it's okay to abuse the children? I never said it was okay to abuse the children, did I? Oh, so then, so then, you're, but you're saying that this is permissible and under this under this particular context, in which like they're I didn't not able say to, like, that either. I said think what? about. I don't the think subject you even matter. know what you're think saying. Think about right now. the subject matter of it, and think about what the situational matter? matter of it. I don't, because, I don't like care. I said, there's no situation like said, in which abuse is permissible. Like I said, I never said that it was. So then, what are you talking about? I never said that it was. If you listen, you would understand. Stop being immature and childish. Listen. I'm not, I'm not saying that I am not saying that yourself. I'm not saying that you're incorrect. Okay, then. Let's but I'm saying think about then. the situational no matter of it. I don't. I don't care about stop the being ignorant. Matter. You should. I don't. That's no, a, that's don't. an important part of your debate. You have to think about care. both. Okay. I don't. No, I don't. I have to think about the abuser side. Y'all would not apply this logic anywhere else. <laughs> Y'all would not apply this logic anywhere else. Hi, how old are you? I'm 18. All right. So, do you think do you think spanking? What, what year were you born? Oh five. Okay. So, do you think that spanking is abuse? No. Okay. Why is that? All right. Uh, are you religious by any chance? Hell no. Fairy tales are for children, my love. You think it's a fairy tale? It is. Um. All right. Do do? Eyeliner. No. Setting spray. All right. So, like the last few couple people have been saying that is. For a disciplinary, disciplinary matter, which I agree with them, it is for discipline, and I read the Bible. I'm a very religious person. Yeah, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to prove that the Bible is real. I don't care what some random ass book says. It's not real. I see where you're coming from, but you gotta put it into a perspective. Like, no, would, no, I don't. Would, if the perspective would, is unproven and delusional, then I will not. So, do you? What do you believe in? How the Earth was made? You think believe that are proven. How yeah. the Earth is made? Yeah, like you just. Right, so there are particular na Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and finish that. There are particular naturalistic explanations as to the creation of the Earth. Uh, there was a proto-Earth, and then a proto-Moon hit that Earth. They collided. One made Earth, one made Moon. Um, there were other particular um, asteroids that would hit that astral body. These asteroids likely contain amino acids. These amino acids formed rudimentary mo molecules under the most mundane of circumstances. And since we understand that amino acids are the building blocks of organic life, then that is how the Earth and, you know, any organic life on Earth came to be as well. Um, hi, how old are you? Hi, can you hear me? <laughs> Yeah, how old are you? 46, 47, 47. Okay. So do you think that spanking is abuse? So um, I'm learning so much on TikTok. Oh my golly. Uh, first, I love your style, but two, num number one, you said something and I, I'd like clarification. Is that mm -hmm. okay? Of course. So you said um, that it's the um, intimidation that makes it abuse. Abuse. No, 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 no. I was very big on intimidation. It was always wait till your father got home. So that's why I was asking. Well, yeah. So the context in which that was being spoken about was when the person said, it's just tapping someone on the shoulder abuse. In the context of just tapping someone on the shoulder, typically that would not cause someone physical harm. But if it's tapping them on the shoulder is indicative of some type of violence, right? And you are using it um, in that way, then it would be abuse. So it would be very context dependent. Okay, so so if it's if it's my 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 mother loved to 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 do really mean things to me, like lock me outside in the backyard for two. She's thinking for a dollar. You know what I mean? So um, Jesus is hot. Jesus is very hot. Yeah, she should have never. She should have never been a mom. Um, yeah, yeah. But, I so, agree. so I'm getting a lot of free therapy off TikTok, which is awesome. But so if it was um, if it was that she was like, listen. I'm not going to spank you because I can't spank you hard enough. I'm wait until your dad gets home and pick out a belt, and then you had to sit and look at the belt. Yeah, that is called psychological. Hours. That's psychological abuse. That's it's, that's abuse. Um, okay. Because her the right okay. so her telling you these things is indicative of you expecting physical pain in the future, and because it is used as a form of intimidation to maintain this power dynamic, because she cannot impose the same power dynamic to you as your father can, it is still abuse really right okay, it would just be psychological so, abuse on your mother's part okay and then when that when that other woman who called in she said um she said if you can't parent your child <clears throat> anything other than force then you're not a true parent 
Yeah, I don't I don't know what she was saying. I'm not gonna lie to you. She okay. didn't she didn't disagree with me, so I don't know why she kept talking. Um uh-huh. okay. but I don't I don't know. I don't know. It, it sounded like she's saying that like these particular behaviors are context dependent. Julia, thank you so much for the four dollar cash up. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> so you okay, baby. So my my last question is this, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think from the very small amount I've given you, know, you someone um, for the dollar. Do you think she knows she was an abuser or do you think she thinks she was in the right? Because um, because because within because within society spanking is so um deeply ingrained into like how we discipline children. A lot of people do it and they don't know what's wrong. Um so, so like that's why that's why education is very... I think you were an abuser. She could easily go that's just well, what yeah. I thought. Well, that is they wouldn't make her not an abuser i think conversations like this are really delicate to have with your parents i think approaching them directly and saying that you are an abuser would be a little bit like it's not really going to help you because a lot of time people have an idea of what they view as an abuser in their head and if they themselves do not feel like typically people think abusers are below human they're below them so if you attribute that particular word to them they're obviously not going to like that right so what i would what would be better is for you to like explain to her how particular things have affected you in your in your in your current life um and how they affected you as a child and maybe see if she can empathize with you on that front if she cannot empathize with you honey there's no helping (laughs) i'm sorry sometimes you just got to cut parents off um and i think it's okay to be prepared for that but um a lot of time parents don't want to see themselves as terrible people they don't want to see themselves as abusers um so like it's better to not come out and explicitly say oh you're an abuser you're you know because they're gonna assume that you're just calling them a terrible person you don't want to do that if you actually care about like maintaining a relationship with your parent further on it's better to oh then yeah i even talk to her Uh, no one cares so she'll die soon anyway don't know yeah you know, if if God is good, um, you know? <laughs> no, I'm always on time. More from my therapy, you okay. know what I mean? It's okay, well, therapy. I'm just looking for people who disagree, though, and people with low yeah. attention spans are starting to lead the life. So I gotta go. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, appreciate you too. Let's go on to the next person, y'all. Remember, we are just looking for some debates. Let me check this on my hand real quick. Oh, we're doing good. All right, now I gotta spray this mustard gas on my face. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Hi. How old are you? I'm 18. What year were you born? 2006. Okay, so do you think spanking is abuse? Yes. Oh, period. I'm just looking for people who think that it's not abuse. Okay. Well, I wanted to ask a question, though. I can't take questions. People have really low attention spans. DMs are open. Hello. Hi, how old are you? I'm 19. I was born in 2006. It smells kind of good, though. Okay, so you say you're 19, born in 2006? Well, my birthday coming up. That's what I'm saying. But, so you're 18. Yes, ma'am. But I don't think Frankie is abused because I always raised my, like, I was raising my nephews and nieces. Mind you, I got like seven nieces, eight nieces. I don't care about your lore. You saying, like, okay. <laughs> I, I don't think Spanking is abused because I got abused. Like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Be for real. But, like, I feel like Spanking is a form of discipline. Which is the practice of training someone to obey rules or a code of behavior, using pun- right, so punishment it, to correct disobedience. Right. So, where where in the definition did it say that this can't be done via abusive means? Fog, thank you so much for the gifts. Also, it's God, only I'm sorry. To a I know so many gifts. Thank you so much. Right. So, what's the extent? The extent is, um, can I use examples? Is that okay? No, because I won't know what you're describing. You need to make statements and then examples. You can't just make examples from the jump. Okay, so let's just say that they were doing something to harm themselves and they just co- repeatedly did it. Like, I would spank them, but only to, like, I don't care like one what the fuck you would do. You saying that you would abuse a child doesn't mean shit to me. No, okay? I'm saying, I'm not I don't saying that I would abuse would a child. I- that is what you just said. If I already think that this is abuse, why the fuck would you say, yeah, if they did this, I would just abuse them? 
This is what I mean when I say spanking lowers IQ. It's not considered abuse as long as it is reasonable and causes no Are bodily injury to the Are child. You Are you black? Yes, ma'am. I'm me. Right. So your ancestors, they were slaves. That was not considered abuse. That wasn't even considered a, a human rights violation. Was it still a human rights violation even when it was not considered that? Yes. Oh. So we don't care about what things are considered to be. Do we? Because it was wrong for the white people to treat black people like but, that. Oh, but but we, they, they considered it to be fine, though. So now what? Because they were causing bodily injury and also making them have scars and everything. If it's just like a little tap, like, listen to the oh, sound. Jackie, thank you so much for the media like shower. That, it's okay. Oh, so wait. So if slave masters hit the slaves like that, it would be okay? Jackie, thank you so no, much for hitting the goal with the media shower. Thank you so much. W, Jackie. Stuff. When they're trying to run away but if, but from if, but stuff if that like was, that, but if but it, it doesn't matter though because slaves were not even considered human. You're you're saying that these things are not considered to be one thing, and yet now you're applying it within the context of slavery for it to still be wrong. Make it make sense. Why? Yeah. It was considered wrong for black people to marry white people. Is it wrong? Oh, no. So, yeah. So, whether or not things are considered to be a specific way doesn't mean anything to us. Like, I get what you're saying as far right. as, like, spank is abuse. Right. So, let's critically think here. Okay? So, how okay. is spanking not abuse? Spanking is not abuse because if you're causing bodily injury and, like, actually leaving welts and marks on them, with like belts and different other little tools and weapons or whatever, that would mess them up and that would actually cause like some mental trauma to them. But if you're spanking, like, let's just say you're spanking a 10 year old or something because they messed up on the test, that's stupid. Like, Nay, you I think spanking them in general stupid is stuff. stupid. Spanking kids is for stupid people, right? So, what did I just say to you, Nay? Girl, you said spanking is abuse. No, what did I? What was the example that I just gave to you? Because if you cannot critically think, I cannot help you. You need to be able to critically think. I beg, I beg, ma'am. To be honest, I don't really care. You don't care about abuse. Well, I care because I used to get abused. So from the abuse, I had mental trauma. I don't. I don't want to hear about I actually about learned something. Right, you learn a lot from torture as well. So anyway, this doesn't mean anything. I don't think you have the ability to critically think. I just gave you an example. Do you want me to give it to you again? Girl, eating is abuse, so just leave it alone. Eating is not abuse. You overeat. That's not abuse either. What power dynamic are we maintaining? Like what? Is this what spanking does? Hold on, Hello. that that finish is fucking crazy. Oh my god, I look airbrushed. Hi, are you there? Can you hear me? How old are you? I'm 18. You have an echo. What was that? You have an echo. You have an echo. Is it bad? Yes. Let's go on to the next person. Oof. Hi, how old are you? I'm um, 20. What year were you born? 2004. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not really sure, but I'm, some of the things you're saying I don't agree with. Like what? Earlier you said spanking lowers IQs. It definitely does. It explains me how. Right, one second. <laughs> Right, so there's a particular study like the meta-analysis that I went over here before that I was never able to read. Um, so they went over this, they found, let me pull it up for you. 
let's see here we go so in this meta-analysis um when they did their own study using the information from the meta-analysis that they did they found that 13 out of 17 child outcomes were examined were significantly associated with parents use of spanking um and so these outcomes were aggression antisocial behavior internalizing problems um externalizing problems mental health problems ne negative relationship uh, with parents they had lower cognitive ability and lower moral internalization do you know what that do you know what moral internalization is uh not clearly not completely can you explain that to me so moral internalization is how we determine whether or not something is socially acceptable within society right so a lot of time you would know <clears throat> like for example you would know not to go out and smack someone in the face why is that well because it's morally wrong yeah but why is it morally wrong well it's a well i'm in the uk and it's illegal it's a form of common assault the only reason you don't smack people in the face is because it's illegal well you yeah, have low what, moral internalization huh you have low moral internalization so the fact that you rely on the government to give you some form of consequence in order not to inflict harm onto other people morally shows that you have low moral internalization right so basically what that is is that when children are spanked and people say that they learn not to do a particular thing children don't actually learn not to do that thing they learn not to do that thing around that person for example this is why for example uh this is why like for example when mothers leave spanking to the to the children's <laughs> parents the children are still just as likely to misbehave around the mother than they are around the father because the father is the one that's going to be doing the disciplining well, then Meaning those children have low moral internalization. They don't do things because they know why it's wrong. They do wrong things if a person that is around there to discipline them isn't there. Yeah, but if the, if the, if the mother's witnessing and knows it's wrong, it's bad parenting, leaving it to the dad. The mother should be doing Spanking it. in general is, is bad parenting because if both the parents were doing it, it would be the same thing. Anytime the children would leave the parents' care, they would still be just as likely to misbehave. That's what moral internalization means. No, I mean, I'm going to have to agree to disagree because I was spanked. We don't agree. Child. We don't agree on anything. Yeah, well, I, I don't agree on the IQ thing because I was spanked as a child and I've got an IQ within the top 1% of the UK, so. Right, so just because you don't meet a particular statistic doesn't mean that that statistic wrong. Obviously, there's going to be differences. Like, how do you have a high IQ and you don't know how studies work? Okay, so you said 13 of 17, right? Right, so there were 17 particular child outcomes and they found that spanking was associated with 13 out of 17 of them. Okay, so how many other different forms of, like, how many of those 13 that were proven, were there other forms, was there any other forms of child abuse used? Was there any, like... Right, so this, so this meta, right, so this meta-analysis went over uh, first five different studies, and within these five studies, they found the issue, even though they all found that there was some type of harm that fell children, uh, that, that befell children, uh, even though they these studies included types of corporal punishment that most others would believe were also abuse so that would be like belts paddles things like that that most other parents would not would would, would still believe are abuse so this study that they did just went over spanking a child with their hand okay so i'm just going to say now iq is it comes down to your thinking yeah how you process different questions I how know, you read I know, them i know how iq means no, that, I, that's I all in the brain and there's no I, there's no connection between your backside and the brain so if you get hit on the backside it's not going to make you any smart or any dumber simple as yeah that's not how that works what do you mean see so like what <laughs> okay that's, so that's, 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 that's Let's change the situation here, right? Do you do you think so? Again, you're you're having some issues here. Um, the where they are hitting the child isn't what makes them have a lower IQ. Trauma lowers IQ. Spanking causes trauma, right? Your brain cannot develop when you are hurt. When you are in fight or flight or when you were being pushed, by the way, you're proving my point right now. When you were in fight or flight, your brain doesn't grow. 
every part of your body stops working. You stop digesting food. Your brain goes fully into survival mode. Your brain does not process nor develop what you were, ex- nor, I'm sorry, nor understand exactly what you were experiencing. The only thing that your brain is focusing on is surviving, is continuing to breathe. You don't process anything when you're traumatized. That is why it lowers IQ because it stops brain development. Okay, okay so, Jacob? Yep, yeah, when you get spanked, how long are you traumatized for? That is subjective. Do you think that's a serious question you can ask somebody? When you get graped, how long are you yes. traumatized for? Well, that that's different. That is no, that it's is not. When you get much... when you get graped, how long are you traumatized for? I hate to break it to you, but that's very much different from being when you get when you as a child. What, I, but you say when you get traumatized. You didn't say when you get spanked. So when you get graped, how long are you traumatized for? Like I said, that is different. Different to what? Trauma is trauma. It's a different act. So what? Trauma. You you didn't say spanking. You said trauma, my guy. Okay, here's, here's another traumatic thing. Right? Is, it, is, is this the high IQ that... Is, is the high IQ with us in the room right now? <laughs> what no, the, just is hold the on IQ here, in the I'm going to ask us? you the exact same thing, right? Yeah, you're trying to tell me the traumatic effect on a person, let's say the same person, the traumatic effects of being graped is the same as the traumatic effects of getting spanked as a child. Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's dependent on a person, it can be, yes. Dependent on the person. Okay, right. That's how trauma works, my guy. Well, yeah, but the way you made it out, you made every single occasion seem like that, which is not. No, the case. that's not. That's not even how people work. That's not how brains work. One is not necessarily different than the other. Like it, it is dependent on the person. Okay, I think that's all my points covered. But it's still very silly to say that you can prove IQ how. So let's not let's not repeat being spanked. Let's not repeat the fuckery, please, because you, you weren't able... Is The IQ is not... Yeah, 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 you win, you win. Nice one. Good one, yeah. Like, please, get your money World back, class. my love. Get your 30 quid back, please. Get, get spanked and, yeah, oh, I'm dumb now. Yeah, nice one. What, 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 happens, what happens in the bedroom when you're in sexual differences right, that's called, and man, that's spanking? Just, man, you lose man. IQ. Does the girl lose IQ there when they're in the bedroom? Yes do, you not know, do you not know what consent means? Oh, consent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Did you forget about consent? Hold on, hold on. Is right. the IQ... In, put him back in the pen. Hold on. No. Why do men always forget about consent when it comes to sex? Isn't that weird? That's weird. Hi, how old are you? Hi, I'm 18. Cool. Um, what year were you born? Oh, five. All right, so do you think that spanking is abuse? No. And why is that? I say to an extent only because everybody is different and you cannot put every yeah. single person in. I'm, if I'm making you mad, girl. What are you talking about? You get pissed off of a every single thing everybody says but let me finish real quick what are you talking about you tap in the pen like this it's to get the juice out your face and everything but all right if you weren't mad you weren't mad but um what if the you're fuck? putting everybody into one category and saying everybody's mind is the same and that when they're abused that their mind reacts the same as every other person that gets spanked yeah i never i never made that claim it's that goes for that goes for a grape as well Ariane, thank you so much for the ten dollar cash if i appreciate you i appreciate you a lot right so not everyone has the same reaction to grape is grape wrong in every context why not everyone's traumatized from it because not everybody's brains work the same oh Um, I'm going to ask, were you spanked? I know you don't want to answer that. I need to buy a new one. Y'all fuck with the next liner?
I asked you a question. You just decided not to. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you about my personal life. Follow right, up. Then address that instead of standing there and not saying anything. Address what? You just proved my point, my love. Address what? I just asked you a question. I'm not going to tell you about my personal life. It's not going to prove anything. But you're just speaking on others' personal life. No, I'm not. Being abused and saying others. You just proved my point, babe. Is grape wrong in every context? Yes, but you cannot. Does everyone have the same cannot... outcomes when they're graped? No. Right, so you're proving my point right now, baby. You still think it's wrong in every context, my love. Right. Rape so is even not though, the so same even though being hit, it can be. You're not. You and... just agree to that, my love. Some people have bigger, like, like, worse outcomes from being spanked than people who have, like, like better, out like, not better, but, like, less worse outcomes from being great. So now what? You're proving my point, babe. There's an extent to making it abuse. Inflicting. Right. So what's, so what's the, so what's the extent? Making them feel pain. When a kid is being disobedient and not obeying physical the pain or mental pain if the parent is trying to wait wait what do you what are you categorizing as pain no i'm as i need you i need you to i need you, you sound really muffled by the way rose um what are you categorizing as pain it, everybody has a their own pain tolerance what are you talking about right are you referring to physical mental emotional Everybody has their own different amount. I'm asking you what you're pain. referring to. You are you referring to all of it? Single person has are you, the same are you, I, I'm not. That's not what I asked you. I didn't ask if everyone has the same amount. You agree with that. I agree with that. You're proving my point, babe. So, are you? What type of pain are you referring to? Emotional pain, to physical follow. pain, when someone psychological pain. I'm ask. I asked you a question. Yes. yes. What type of pain are you referring to? Miguel, thank you so much for the six dollars and sixty cents. Talk, please. One second. Six, one second. One second. Thank you for the six dollars and sixty six cents. I love the name Miguel. I love that name. Um You're muffled again. Continue. Sorry. Um I was saying, well, if you're hitting a child, there's an extent to them feeling pain, right? What pain? I asked you. I asked if you for the fourth the child, time. Rose, them. for the what fourth are we time. About right now. For the spanking. fourth time. What pain are you referring to? Spanking. What uh, spanking is? The definition of spanking is on their ass. So what? What are you asking? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Go what? look it up. It's t it says typically on the buttocks, not always. Yes, on the buttocks. and that's the ass. So what else? Right. It says typically doesn't mean always. Um. So it's in the definition though. Yeah, but it says typically. That's what that word means. Please, reading comprehension is really important, my love. I know reading is hard, but it is fundamental. It will save your life. Okay? So, <laughs> what type of pain are you referring to? Spanking on the ass. So you're, the ass. so you're referring to physical pain? Physical pain? Well, what other pain would that be? Psychological pain? We're, emotional pain? Well, yes. Okay, but we're here trying to argue about spanking. That's... Physical no, pain. I'm not just I'm not just referring to physical pain. Okay. Spanking well, does not does not always it, result in so, physical pain, but it can okay. result in yes, emotional pain yes, and psychological yes, pain. Yes, 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 right. yes, yes, yes. That's yes, what I was yes. asking you, Rose. Calm down. Girl, you don't let me speak. Rose, when I, I ask when I ask you questions, I require for you to answer them. Do you understand? Yes, and me too, but you didn't right, not but I, I I wasn't going to be able to understand what you were saying if you didn't if you didn't answer these, didn't these clarifying questions. I never finished what I was. Like, you kept restating your proposition, and I understood your I argument. Trying, now you can go. I still now never, you can go, Rose. Okay. When a child is hit, or well, when they're being disobedient and not obeying their parent, and they're doing something over and over again, and the parent is yelling at them, doing everything else that they can to try to get that kid to obey them or listen to them. Maybe the kid has anger issues. They have mental issues that they just can't cooperate with the parent and there's other like you cannot say that every person being abused is mentally changed the same I'm, saying. I'm just saying like when did i make abuse. rose are you okay are you okay rose do you like black out whenever i open my mouth mm, do you cover your, your ears whenever i open hey rose stop talking your question stop exactly. talking rose stop talking your question stop exactly. talking though you're stop not my mom though. girl <laughs> but i but i am now 
I'm mommy. That's weird. I'm mother. Thank you. So it's like all that to really say nothing, right? Rose, we agreed. And I never made the argument that everyone turns out the same, my baby. I never made that argument, my love. I never made that argument. You proved my point within a minute. Okay? Right. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you this question again, Rose. Does everyone have the same outcome within the context of grape? You can unmute now. It was never me who muted me, but I um, know my but... mom's muted you. They know their job. So yes, what was your question? Right. Is do 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 people who get graped all have the same outcomes? No. Right. Well, I'm Is I'm like stop talking, Rose. Stop talking. So, but is grape still wrong in every context? Okay. So why do you keep stop talking? It's a yes or no. It's a yes or no. Ah, ah, ah. Is Dude, grapes? Is... Ah, ah, ah. I'm not no ah, dog, ah, bro. Ah, 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 ah. Is grape still wrong in every context? Girl, you asked the same. Is question grape what still wrong? Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the math for you. Is grape? still wrong in every context yes or no how many times have i answered yes or no rose put her away i don't know what to tell you i can't save you let's go on to the next person she just loves to argue i really do i've been doing it ever since i was a little girl I love arguing. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I love to argue. It's my favorite pastime. I couldn't wait for y'all to add me. I could not <laughs> wait. I could not <laughs> wait. I could not wait. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, so do you think that spanking is abuse? Okay, let's start here. For one, respectfully, I get that you're bringing light to whatever you're bringing light to, but how you- My name's Natalia and I'm 06, 18. Cool. So do you think that spanking is abuse? Like, don't nobody ask you. Yes. The fuck? I mean, no, sorry. No, I don't think spanking is abuse. And why, <laughs> why is that? Um, I wait, I have a question though. Not a like not a personal question. It's just something you said prior that I didn't understand. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when that one mixed girl was talking, you said that um the white people the white uh, slave owners spanking the black or abusing the black people the genocide with black people and black slaves you correlated yeah. that to someone spanking a parent spanking ended a child. what is the correlation right one was considered wrong now but it was not considered wrong then okay but with the context in nature what was this what where is the correlation one was considered wrong now and was not considered wrong then that's the correlation. So you're saying that a genocide a mass yes. a massacre of black people yes. Yes. Correlates to spanking. Yes. Same thing you said with rape. Where's the correlation? Yes. One, right. So people who get raped do not all have the same outcome. We still believe that rape is also, is always wrong. People who get spanked do not have the same outcome. We should think that spanking is still always wrong. But where's the correlation? So, so you're telling I just, me. I just told you what the okay, correlation okay. was. And you're, so you're telling me. The families right now in Palestine that are going through a genocide right now, you can correlate to that correlate that to my parents spanking me. Where's yep. the correlation though? I'm so confused. Where's the right. correlation? I, I can actually give you a good correlation. Is it necessary to bomb children? No, it's not. Right. So what how do we know that it's wrong to bomb the people in Palestine? Because why would you because the uh, because the context. They're not no, doing no, it no. for a good reason. Israel's doing that. Okay, so it's so so it is unnecessary, right? 
yes is not necessary because they're right so we know this stop talking i know the history but it's not it's not relevant let's not try to preach okay Okay. (laughs) right right so we understand that this constant bombing is unnecessary Mm -hmm. for them to get to for them to Mm -hmm. do what they need to do Mm -hmm. israel is a military powerhouse of the world Mm -hmm. for them to pretend as if they wouldn't know that a ragtag group of terrorists Mm -hmm. is going to bomb a festival Mm -hmm. unlikely and they're using it as a way to fulfill a genocide Okay. We know that that is wrong because it is unnecessary. We know that okay. spanking is un- is wrong because it is unnecessary. All that's right. the correlation. Okay. And that's good. But you're telling me, because my ancestors went through more than one abuse, they didn't just go through spanking. They, no, no, yep. they weren't just yep. spanked. They were raped. They were yep. sexually assaulted. Yep, they okay. were. And you're telling me you can, cor- you can correlate all that mass abuse, yep. Yep. all that mass to spanking. Spanking. Yep. Okay, I can. You can say you can argue spanking is a bad thing, or right, spanking is abuse. You can argue that, but under the context of a genocide, hell no. Yes, There's you no can. Way. Okay, yes, you can. Okay. That's literally how people have been. That's that's this is not. Do you you do realize that like analogies? This is literally how people have been explaining the genocide. Argue, the genocide in Palestine. Make any sense. You I just told you how it would make sense. You're just really emotional right now. Example without bringing a statement. Okay, that but that doesn't make sense though. Where's the correlation? You're I just told you the correlation. My ancestors, my ancestors yeah. had to get they, more than spanked. Yeah, Things I know. Even, they had to get eaten. You're relating that to spanking. Yeah, okay, like spanking your child. Yes, yeah. you can consider that abuse, but under the nature and context of both situations, they are completely different. Completely right. Different. So do you do you what know what an analogy is, Nat? I know what an analogy is, but right. You don't so see what do analogies? Nat, hey, Nat, 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 hey, hey, Nat, hey, 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 hey. What do analogies do? What do they you, compare? You, analogies compare something. Compare what do they, no shit, they compare something. What do they All compare? Right, so why aren't your analogies comparing What do they compare? They Nat, what why do they compare? Not? Nat. Things between each other, yes, yes. What do they compare? Yes. Like, what are you talking about? Can't even fucking whistle. What do they compare? What now? What do they compare? You, what do analogies compare, Nat? What do analogies compare? All right, you tell me. They compare logic. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I know that spanking and a genocide are two different things. All right, so why are we comparing them? Because Where's we're the comparing the logic. Them? We agree that genocide is always wrong. And if the logic oh, that applies to why genocide is wrong also applies to that of spanking, then spanking must also be wrong. It is a reductio ad absurdism. It is a, it is a defeater, Matt. Bastard it is a defeater, not- Nat. Okay, okay. It is a defeater. Okay, all right. right? Okay. I understand you we both understand that under that logic, yes, spanking could be considered abuse. But now oh. there's other things to oh. it. There's Bye. other things to it. Bye. There's other Bye. things to it. Nature. Thank context. you for the concession. Stop being dense. Thank you if for you're the gonna concession. argue with people, don't be dense. Let's Open go on to the next person. You need to learn how Let's go on to the next person. Thank you for the concession. Hi, how old are you? Oh, let's go on to the next person. Wait a second, y'all. W now for the concession. Y'all fuck with metal. Oh, hi, how old are you? Hi, I'm 28. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? Um, so I just had a question. So I'm a mama too, and um, unlearning generational abuse, spanking abuse. And I think it's really, really difficult to unlearn, and it's never okay to spank your kids. Like listening to everybody talk makes me want to just hug my kids. Like you it's should. so rough. Oh I think my it's goodness. important to just hug your kids randomly. Sometimes when my niece comes over, I just run into her room and start kissing her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so you just, glad you have a good you mom. That, you get that you get that cuteness aggression. Yeah. Um uh but yeah, like what 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 question do you have? So um when when you were comparing the spanking to a um like genocide and stuff like that i think people were kind of like missing the point that well no they do it on purpose right yeah but but continue if you if you think you can explain it better i can give you that chance oh i feel like they are misunderstanding the fact that genocide is obviously wrong it's illegal just because in the law it says that spanking is okay does not make it okay 
it should still, it's still wrong, but they're not getting it. It's kind of strange. <laughs> well, people hear, it's the same thing with slavery. Um, people hear the word genocide and they immediately think that it's something that you can't compare to anything else and everything can be compared to something else. Yeah. Um, but they don't, they don't really understand what a defeater is. They don't know what a reductio is. There's not much you can do for these people. Tis a fact. Mm -hmm. I've, uh, by, I've been listening for the past hour and I'm just like, wow, this is literally insane. And I'm just like, this is just kind of crazy. Um, yeah, it's all right, though. I got it. But thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you for allowing me to come up here and um, speak. And, you know, I'm still learning as a parent and mm -hmm. listening to this is super helpful. Of course. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much for your, yeah. for your love and all your support. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. Let's go on to the next person. Be safe. Be safe. I know your kids are safe as well. Yeah. Let's go on to the next person, y'all. Give it a second. Hold on. Y'all blocking my, my lips right now. Don't ask me how I did it. I just did it. It was hard. Oh. Hi, how old are you? Okay, Hi, I'm 18. I was born in 06. Cool. So do you think that spanking is abuse? Um, I just had a question really quick. Make it quick. Um, how can you compare um, rape to spanking? Right. So are you referring to the previous conversation that we had? Yes. Okay. Give me one second. Sorry, I'm sorry. I wasn't here. I wasn't here while you were explaining it. Sorry. You, you had to have been here, but it's fine. Um, hold on. Okay. Anyway. So... <clears throat> Do you grape, do people who are grapes, do they all have the same outcome? No. Right. Are people, do people who are spanked have the same outcome? No. That's the comparison. Okay. Let's go on to the next person. Lohan, can we bring up the next one? Oh. Like you could not have known that that other person made that argument without also listening to what I said. It's okay to just know that you didn't that you didn't get it. It's okay to just say when you don't know something. Um, I need more highlighter. That's what I need. Hi, how old are you? Twenty four. Okay, so do you think spanking is uh, abuse? Um, it depends the context of the situation. Yes, uh, if someone is spanking to redirect uh that is one thing but if you know abuse is when spanking is taken too far um yeah so uh in context it depends in <clears> the <throat> situation yeah so i believe that spanking in all contexts is abusive right like for yeah. example what is the what is the definition of abuse do you know uh, the def definition of abuse, I'd assume it'd be something along the lines of uh, just any kind of trauma or uh, foul experience, uh, whether that be mentally, uh, physically, you know. Is spanking not a foul experience? Um, I, it, like I said, it depends uh, in the context of the situation. If you're spanking your kid, uh, for example, I, I was spanked probably like once in my life. I don't want to hear about your lore. Um, I don't care. That, that's okay. I can that's, just, that's some evidence. guy I know was spanked. Uh, that's not evidence either. Life. Chill out. Use a different source. It, okay. So the APA, the American Psychological Association. You want to use the APA to whether or not spanking? It doesn't deem uh, spanking directly as abuse. Uh, it can lead to... Like I said, it no, it is. The to, APA says it is heavily correlated, right? The, also, like, I don't. Yes, but it's stop not. Talking, stop, yeah, talking, but stop, yes, talking, but stop talking. Stop not. talking. Stop okay, talking. Okay, yelling. I'm not going to yell over stop, you. Please. You don't yell over me. I will. So stop okay. talking. And I also wasn't yelling. I just have a really good mic. Um, okay. So the APA is never going like APA, PubMed, National Institute of uh, Medicine. They are never going to use the term abuse. They are never going to do not ever go into any of these databases looking to find the you're not going to find it. You're not going to find the word abuse in there. Right. Because abuse is a subjective term. What they will find is whether or not it is correlated to harm. 
The APA states that spanking is correlated to particular negative outcomes in children, but not and adults. Within you, a, it can go both ways. It is, it is heavily the on me, I'll pull no, the card on you. It can no go both study. Ways. It's not correlated. It is. Either. It is almost. It is correlated. It no, is. It is it's, heavily it's really, correlated. It, yes, but the okay, a, then, you just said then, the APA deems it. Go ahead and say. Go ahead and state the source. Okay. You maybe we're talking no, about no, 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 no. I'm not even, we're talking about the same thing. No, find I the fucking said, source. Find the source. I, I, if you find let me talk, source. if you let me talk, I'm, I'm explaining myself. I don't want, I don't want you to explain anything. Find the source first. It, it's, I don't need to look out of a book. Oh, to have yes, you do. Well, me, you do. To have judgment. Wait, you, wait, me, you do. You don't need to look in a book to, to make judgment. Like Man, I said, good thing, the good APA thing we, doesn't deem it. If you're going to say the APA. Anyway, good thing we don't have books. We have phones. Go find the source. So basically, Why are you still talking? I know you don't care about consent. I said go find the source, boy. It, it, okay. It's it, it, like what? You're referring to using names. I'm I'm go literally find the source. Talking, I'm talking like a reasonable. Go find the human source. Being. No, you're not. You're you're talking out your ass. Okay, not what providing are you the doing? source. And what find are you the doing? Source. What are you doing? Waiting for you to find the source. I, I I'm not gonna find a source for you. What oh, then bye. Um, How old are you? Nineteen. What year were you born? Three thousand five. Okay. So, do you think that spanking is abuse? Thank you so much for the heart, me, my love. I don't. Th I think spanking is abuse because I experienced it when I was a child. And okay, I'm just looking for people who think that it's not abuse. But I'm sorry that happened to you. But I am just looking for people who disagree. I do have a question though, if that's okay with you. Really quickly. Okay. What do you think are other great forms of dis discipline besides spanking? Uh, ones that ta that are tailored to the particular child's needs. This will be child dependent. Okay, that's all. Thank you. All right, thank you. Let's go on to the next person, you guys. I am not a child mental health professional. But you can still know things are wrong and not have a degree in it. Thank you for the heart, me, my love. Oh, we're in the last hour of the live, y'all. We're going to go into sub-only chats. Hi, how old are you? Yo, 22. What year were you born? 2001. Cool. Y'all, we're in the last hour of the live, so we're going to go into sub-only chats. It went by really quickly. Um, so do you think that's making this video? Thank you so much for the gifts, you guys. Thank you all so much. I actually do not, believe it or not. Okay, so uh, why don't you think it's abuse? Because I, I hear a lot of people explaining that it's due to an extent. I'd say that that extent is uh, all a matter of intent, actually. Because the definition of abuse is to treat someone or something with violence uh, or cruelty repeatedly or often, right? And in this case, if you're trying to teach your child uh, to stop a certain action, in any case um it would not necessarily have to be through spanking all of the time however it all comes down to intent like i said if you're doing it just to just for the sake of overpowering your child then that doesn't that's make any considered sense abuse. why does if intent matter because if you're intending to purposefully overpower your child like i said then that's wrong oh if like say well say a, say a parent to grapes to their child it, child one second. And one second. Though. Your child one would second actually be the, oh my God, the Phil! Thank you so much for the fireworks. Anyway, let's continue on with the conversation at hand here. It, it um, would be a difference between, say, you, teaching uh, your child. Okay, okay, okay. I heard you. I heard you. Goddamn! I heard you. I heard you. Goddamn! Oh my God. Anyway. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, say a parent raped their child, and this is a real case. They raped their child so because they genuinely wanted to teach them about sex. Is that wrong? Right. No, we're not talking about about. Oh, that. but it's a it's a it's it's a reductio oh. absurdism though. So engage with it, or I'm putting you oh, back. Not down. the four point Scrabble words. Uh, okay. First of all, no, it's a difference between teaching and a difference between intentful violence towards the child. Yeah, but they didn't see it as violence though. Who didn't that see that? Wasn't it as the, the the yeah the parent who assaulted their child? 
They didn't it's, see it as violence. Yeah. So because... their intent their intent was not violence. So is it wrong? And this was recent. This happened like last year. Oh my god. Damn Definition it, of violence. <laughs> Who just subscribed? Uh, Rebecca, thank you so much for the subscription, my love. Thank you so much. Are you gonna um are you gonna engage in what I just said? Okay. Right? What did do you just you say? Intend, do you intend to purposefully hurt or 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 kill your child in that case? Oh my god, damn. When you're that, spanking them. Stone, thank you so much for the subscription, my love. Right, yeah. This person that raped their daughter, they did not they were not intending to hurt her. They were intending to teach her about sex ed. So now what? So is the conversation going to be about grape or is it going to be about spanking? Do you know what an analogy is? Because if you can't critically think, I can't you know have a what an example is. Because my example here, and I'll, I'll give you another I do one know what an example is, but if do you yeah, know right. what a reductio ad absurdism is? Oh, and it, it doesn't even have to be spanking. Because I know you were mentioning pain as well in the other. Brittany, thank you so much for the subscription, oh my, my love. God. Thank you. So for example, when your child is constantly touching the stove, and I'm not even going to bring spanking into this. Chan, right? thank you so much. In this oh case, my, the, thank you so the much. that you is that. teaching them in this case would be the pain that they're causing themselves by touching the stove constantly over oh and over Damn, and over. The Daddy, stove isn't that. actually Solus, thank you so much them. for the subscription. The, the stove isn't thank actually you so much for the them. They're and it's, hey, thank you so much for the subscription oh. as well. Oh God. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, are you going to oh. engage with the example that oh I gave? Go ahead and give the example again. I'm not going to repeat it to you. You seriously forgot oh, okay. with the span of So, anyways, the stove, right? If oh, let's go on to the next person. To I'm not talking stove, about that. Right. All right, deuces. Big deuces. Back. Thank you. Big back, cause my daddy feed me. Big back, cause my daddy feed me. Big back, cause my daddy feed me. Oh, uh, got the. Uh, hey, I'm in. He be feeding me. He be feeding me. He be feeding How's me. How's it going? Uh, how old are you? Thirty-two. Bro, thank you, Chris Brown. Thank you so much, Free Palestine, for the subscription. They're coming in really fast. Thank you all so much. Um, I'm sorry, how old are you again? 32. Cool. So uh, do you think that spanking is abuse? No. Why is that? Um, I, am I able to um, attack this from the analogy standpoint that you use? If you make a statement and I know what you're comparing, then yeah. Yes, okay. GG, so, love. Thank you so much for the subscription, my love. Is financial abuse wrong? Towards a child, yes. yes. But in every case, is it wrong to take away items or privileges from a kid? No. To to get them to stop doing whatever behavior, and this is a part of gentle parenting. You oh take God. things away from them to get them to not do the. Nairo, thank you so much for the subscription, baby. To commit the behaviors that they're doing um, when they are negatively affecting them. Or right, so what makes life? financial abuse abuse? So take a, utilizing the ability to provide for an individual as a method of controlling them in a okay. negative, negative way. What do you mean in a negative way? So, because it's financial abuse. So essentially, you're going to do whatever I want you to do so if you want this money, if you want to eat, if you want a place to live. So that means if I want to have sex with you, you're going to give me. Oh, sorry. I don't know if I can say that word. But you, can, yeah. you can say that. And, okay, okay. So what's the logical distinction between that and spanking? Can you can you ask it again? My, I don't what know is the logical? What is the logical distinction between that and spanking? Um, so essentially, I'm arguing that in every case, spanking isn't bad because there is other forms of abuse that aren't necessarily bad. So I can take a Name toy one form a... of abuse that isn't bad. Huh? Name one form of abuse that isn't bad. Well, I'm going off of your, your standard. You're saying you're, spanking you're clear, you're clearly not though. all the time. All abuse is not. wrong. All abuse uh, is wrong by definition. So give me a definition no, no, no. of abuse. That's, that's because wrong. you're calling it spanking abuse. That's why, That's where my argument is coming from. So it I'm, sounds I'm like simply, you're just not understanding. All abuse well, no, would be I'm wrong. I'm simply going off of the the the. You're, you're, you're clearly not, my love. Abuse. 
So you're, what, you're, what you're doing right now is you're conflating your argument with my argument, right? You believe spanking is not abuse, and then you're conflating saying that because you believe that spanking is not abuse, then, then all abuse might not be bad. Or because you think that spanking is not always bad, that all abuse might not be bad, right? I believe that no, no, spanking... No, no. That, I'm, not, I'm not done speaking. Speaking. I'm not done think, speaking. I think abuse... I think spanking... I'm not done speaking. Abuse. I am not done speaking. I believe that abuse is bad in every context. I believe that spanking is abuse, therefore ab that therefore spanking is bad, right? Because it is abuse. Okay. So I don't know so, what you're talking about. It so is I do not context. believe spanking is abuse, and I'm using your argument against you. So Wait, essentially, you're, you're you think not, spanking not, is though. abuse in every case, and I'm saying financial abuse is abuse in, in every case, but if I'm taking something away from a child because they are committing bad behaviors, that is not a financial abuse. I'm not giving them the money to go buy a pair of shoes they really like because they did something wrong. That is yeah. Consequent consequences for one's action is not always abuse, right? Like if a child, like if a child, like broke another child's toy and then you took away their toy to show like some type of a consequence. Sianna, thank you so much oh for the God, subscription, Sian, my love. That's not abuse. That is a consequence. You're not doing it to con control the child. Yes, you are doing it to control the child. You don't just take it away because you want them. Oh, well, I'm taking this away since you broke that and you're not getting it back. No, you're trying to get them to correct their behaviors and then come back to the situation and realize right, that they broke so, off. Right, in most so, cases, you give it back to them, right? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, right, I'm going to tell you how this isn't analogous at all. The issue is that it would not be the gentlest means, right? Abuse is not the gentlest means to disciplining a child. If the way in, in which for you uh, to be able to discipline the child and get them to understand and gain moral internalization is you taking away their toy to show them that they Things can be taken away from them as well right in a way that does not harm the child and helps them understand what consequences for their actions look like to build the moral the moral standing then no it's not abuse so what if a child hits financial child? abuse i'm not done speaking financial abuse is unnecessary because it maintains a power dynamic via violence of control violent yes do that doesn't that doesn't means? make sense. Violence is an act of, like uh, that actually brings physical harm to an individual. Not that's not true at all. Yes, it is. It is not. Violence is simply an. Look in any act. law dictionary, you will find that violence is not categorized as what you're saying. Right. It's almost like I'm not going off of the law. So anyway. Um, so I thought you were arguing facts, and you were having somebody bring up the. I don't uh, legality. Hey, legality does not equal morality. Like, that's weird. As a black man, you should know that. I would hope you would, right? Um, so I don't argue more. I don't ar argue from the case of legality. Legality means nothing. It means not historically, it means nothing, right? Um, also, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the de by definition of violence, violence is simply the intentional harming of another person. That is violence. That is also not self defense, but actually, self defense would still no. count as violence. Can I connect the point that you made earlier real quick? Because you were saying the gentlest means. So you took away a toy from a child to show that taking breaking someone else's toy isn't acceptable. What if do they know, hit them? Do you know what, do you know what gentlest means? What if they hit the child? Are you, you able to what, hit them to show them know, that they can't hit? Do you know what gentlest means means? Huh? What does gentlest means mean? Because I don't think you know. Because I think you heard the so, word. So, uh, I think you heard the, the, I think I you heard the word gentle. not do anything at all and just ask him not to do it. And can you, he, can he you just stop talking? Going. Can you stop talking? I think you heard the word gentle and thought you got the gist of the word from that. What does the what does the phrase gentlest means mean? Do you know what that means? No. Can you explain it to me, please? Gentlest means is simply taking the action that is least likely to cause unnecessary harm. It does not mean being gentle. It just means taking the action that is least likely to cause harm. So, and which would bring me to my next point. I don't think all spankings are spankings. So if I start punching my child, that is not a spanking. No, that is me not. fighting my child and no, actually it's you punching your child. Huh? It's you punching your child. A fight is mutual. No, no, but it wouldn't be a spanking though. I know it that, wouldn't be a spanking. That a spanking, would just be me assaulting my child. A spa right, so by definition, a spanking is slapping a child as a form of discipline. That is spanking. It, it, yes. 
Right. So obviously I know that a that spanking is different from punching someone. So, but that's what I'm trying to get you to see. I'm saying that when it does become abuse, it generally isn't spanking anymore. The majority of the time, people it, are. It was already it was already spanking. It was already abuse when it was spanking. I don't know what you're missing here. So, no, so there's a definition with spanking, like that. Even all legal terms follow. I don't. I don't fucking follow. What you are allowed why do you, to do? Put this motherfucker back down. I don't know why you keep going back to legality. It's giving low moral internalization. I don't know why you keep. I, I'm losing brain cells. I got 30 minutes left on a live, baby. Okay, I got 30 minutes left on a live. I want to be in a good mood. I'm about to go to the bar. Oh God, Give me a drink, Valkyrie. You look like you know how to drink. What's your favorite drink, Val? How Hello. Old are you? Hi, I'm 24. Cool. Uh, what year were you born? 2000. Cool. Uh, do you think that spanking is abuse? No. And why is that? Um, I believe spanking. I think you can spank to an extent. I think if a child is being bad, one spank to the butt is not gonna traumatize a child. Or I, I think like the other person said, spanking is to an extent. If you're punching a child or I, I keep, I keep asking a you, child, I keep, I keep asking y'all the same question. Spanking over a child on their hand or what on their the butt. fuck is the extent? Mommy. just one time just spank them one time one time on the button that's it okay so do you do you think it's okay to inflict harm onto others as long as they get to do what you want them to do well th that that's different that's controlling i'm not yeah, that's controlling what, that's what the child is. yes you are well You're it's different it's like telling a child hey do not put your hand on the stove it's gonna burn I can keep repeating it over and over, and the child's still gonna be like wanting to touch the stove. Right, but once so... they touch the stove, they're gonna be like, "Tika, oh, okay, thank you so much for the it. subscription." Anyway, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna ask you this question again. Do you think it's do you think it's morally permissible to inflict pain onto others to get them to do what you want them to do, even if you think it's the right thing? Sometimes, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, me growing up, I never, I never got spanked growing up, but you have low my mom should have spanked me. I don't. Ooh. That's she not, should have. Yes, she has. To the next person. Her, my mom I telling me I'll not to do it. something uh, constantly Mons, did not do a damn thing. I Mons, still kept doing Mons, it. Send um, send them a link to better help. This is not a therapy session, babe. Mods, send them a link to better help. I can't help you. I can't help you. <clears throat> that's like go that's like coming up to a lot and be like, yeah, I should have got graped. What? <laughs> This is insanity. How old are you? 26. Okay, so do you think that being no. lesbian is... Oh, sorry, not being lesbian. Fuck. I got the whole thing on my... <laughs> I got the whole... Fast. <laughs> I've been doing that topic for too long. Do you think spanking is abuse? It is not abuse. And why is that? As the person who was speaking earlier was explaining, it depends on the level of extreme and the discipline. For the for the fiftieth time today, can discipline be done via abusive means? For the fifty first time today, I'm not sure where that came from. However, if we're going to talk about spanking and abuse, Fucking we need to man. actually think about the definition of spanking. And Damn, how that's almost like that's what we're doing. So, can abuse. discipline be done via abusive means? What do you think? Yes. Okay then. That's okay, your answer. Then. So then, right? But I'm asking you though. I know what and I, I mean. answered it through you. Oh, so you you think of, you think discipline can be done via abusive means? Are you stupid or are you dumb? I just said no. So if we're gonna, I'm just I'm just I'm just, I'm just making sure. Hey, honey, I know you I'm I know you got spanked. Don't take it out on me. Take it out on your parents, baby. I didn't do nothing to you. I didn't do nothing to you. I didn't do nothing. To, take it out on your fucking therapist, baby. I didn't do shit to you, but I asked you a question. Hi. Hi, how old are you? Yikes, I'm 18, 2000, 2006. Cool, so do you think that spanking is abuse? I believe spanking is not abuse. Why I believe Ooh, spanking I is abuse? Because first, let's get into the definition of abuse. Def abuse is an action that intentionally causes harm or injury to another person. That's, now, no, that's violence. Hold up. You have that's to the if this, that's if this not the is definition gonna be, of abuse. If this is going to be a debate, I would like to go back and forth. Wait, but wait, that's not the definition of, the, of abuse, though. 
but I haven't finished my sentence. Thank you. Back but that's not the saying. definition of abuse. Yes, that's the def. Okay, give me your definition. No, it's not. Of abuse. That's the definition of violence. Abuse is no. an action that intentionally causes harm or injury no, to another person. No, that's verbatim the Oxford definition of violence. Like verbatim the Oxford definition, my love. Okay, give me the the definition then. Right. Let's let's look it up. Let's like. Right. Uh, let's see. Right. Behavior involving physical force intended to hurt, damage, or kill someone or something. That's violence, my love. I, that's not the definition of abuse. Not all. Not all. Not all abuse is intentional. Okay, okay. I understand it. Thank you for the information. Then that wouldn't be. Then that wouldn't be the definition. So, give me the definition of abuse. We're not on that topic. Abuse would be the maintaining of a particular uh, power dynamic via the recurrent use of violence. Okay. Violence Thank itself you. is not abuse. Using violence to procure a particular power dynamic is abuse. Thank you. Okay. Spanking is not abuse because, like if everybody said that has came on here, oh my God, spanking yeah. developing Chelsea, with whelps, wounds. I believe spanking developing with like whelps, wounds, and it keeps concurring without a disciplinary disciplinary action behind it is abuse. If it has a disciplinary action behind it, then it is not abuse. Why? Oh, so if, 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 you, so if a person you grapes, their... that to slavery because I'm not going to relate to slavery. I'm relating it to grape. Great. So if a you person, so if a person, great because it's yes, not. But you can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you show can you how. Because it's not consent. I can I'm understand show you that. How. I can. You think children can consent to spanking? That's why. That's why I just said. I said that's where I agree with you. Because it's not consent. I can agree with you on that. Okay, then. So then I'm gonna I'm gonna compare grapes. So if a parent grapes their child as a form of discipline, is it wrong? And it's very wrong because it's. So then, so wait, if, wait, wait. Why would it be wrong then? Because it's without consent, and then that's physically so, harming that so, child. Uh, Oh, that's so hurting then, that child. So then, that is, so then, sp so then, spanking is abuse. Then, no, it's not. Spanking is a form of discipline. Wait, do, discipline do, do, because do, wait, wait a minute. But wait a minute. But wait a minute. Let's really back that up. I said if a person grapes their child as a form of discipline, you said the child cannot consent and it hurts the child. A person can spank their child. Because the child even, is not. I'm not done speaking though. I'm that. not done speaking though. Um, a person cannot spank. A person can spank their child even though it causes harm. And, and the child can't consent to being spanked. Question, thanks so much for the paper crane. Alicia, thanks so much for the finger hearts and the hand hearts and everything, thanks so much. So, what's the distinction between them? That would make one okay but not the, the other? The distinction is that is, that's not a form of discipline. That's a form of harm and abuse. It is, it because, is a form of, it, right? it can be a form because of discipline. I let you what is a form of discipline? Because you just told me to let you speak, I let you speak. Let me finish. But you, but you keep using you keep using terms, and you're not well, stating you the criteria let, for these terms. If you want to get your answer, you have to let somebody finish. Correct? Okay, then explain that then. Okay, thank you. Hurry Back up, to what yeah. I was saying. Back to oh Lord, girl. And if you don't yeah. explain it, I'm going to put you back in the comments. By the way, Emerald, thank you so much for the galaxy. I appreciate you. I love Again, your hair color. I'm finna explain it. So that's not a form a discipline that hurts the child. Because you are not learning anything from that. The child is not learning anything from Where that. Where is the definition of discipline? Them. Yes, they do learn something. They how, What did they learn? Besides that, that, that the parent is harming them. That's that is the they, 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 Then they're learning something. You just said they cannot learn. If You, did, you, you, didn't, say, you didn't say what they learned had to be good. You just said they, they're not learning anything, but children learn all the time. And Christian, Christian thank you so much for the, okay, wow. So let's, so let's go off of your point. Children learn all the time. If my child, if I verbally tell them not to do something, if I take away something and they still do it and I give them a little pow pow, they are GMK, learning I don't, something. I don't think you understand what you just said here. I did. You I just, said, I I'm not done. It. Stop talking. You said yeah, that it's give wrong. Me off. Stop talking. No, get me off. No, get me off. Thank you. I don't, bye. No, get me off. You said, bye. Put the, put the muzzle on it. You said that it's wrong because the child doesn't learn anything but then you just stated that the child learned something am i tweaking am i tweaking chat am i tweaking What sense did that make? The child doesn't learn anything. How do, how does a child learn something and not learn something at the same time? P 
put me up, I want to start barking at him. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all are hilarious. Let's go on to the next person. We have like 20 minutes left on the live, y'all. It's been a good live. It's been a hell of a good live. I'm tired as hell, though. I need a drink. Ooh. I need to go back to the piercing place to see if they have another one of these hearts, because I need another one. I need another one. Thank you. Thank you so much for the Zest Fest, baby. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thank you so much. And thanks so much for the heart meets as well, my love. <sighs> Cushion, thank you so much for the lemonade and breath for the finger hearts. It's been a long day and it's probably going to be a lot longer. Um, I think the makeup came out really well today. Hi, how old are you? It's cool. Hello. Hi, how old are you? I am 26. Cool. So do you think that spanking is abuse? I do. You do? Okay. Oh, period. I'm just looking for people who think that it's not abuse. Marvelous. Thank you so much for the gifts, my love. I'm just, all right. I appreciate you. Let's go on to the next person, y'all. Give it a second. We will get some more debates in. We have 20 minutes left on the live, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Hello, can you hear me? One second. Oh my god, I had to let the hair down. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Hello? Hi, how old are you? I'm 24. Cool, so do you think that spanking is abuse? Oh, thank you. Um, no, I do not. I do have a quick question, though. Uh -huh. If I can ask. So, you know, you say that you have a high IQ, right? So... I never um, said that. I, I don't know what my IQ is. From the beginning, from the beginning, I know you were talking like you were saying that people who are abused has low IQ and stuff like that. So that, I didn't I'm say people who are abused. I didn't. I didn't say people who were abused have a lower IQ. I said that prior in the live, um, you did. But um, if you know, no, not, um, no I, 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 said, not I said debate. Stop talking. I said that. Do you not properly the debate? A debate goes both ways. When you talk, and this is not I'm going both ways. Anyway, so what I actually said, if you had any kind of literacy, is I said. Uh, trauma lowers IQ. There is a correlation to lower IQs and trauma because the brain stops processing information and stops growing when a person goes into fight or flight. That is why it is correlated to lower IQs. I did not say people who are traumatized have lower IQs inherently so. They are simply more likely to have that. There is a proclivity of lower IQs and people who are abused. Malia, thank you so much for the $5 Venmo. I appreciate you. Now you can continue. And let's not be belligerent, okay? I need more shine on my face. I love the setting spray, but it's so mad. But like, Patrick ate that. Can we get, oh, he left. Can we get, can we get a W Patrick star? Patrick ate that the fuck. I might not be able to touch Benefit again. I might not be able to touch Urban Decay again. Because look at me. I look airbrushed. Hi, how old are you? Um, 18. Yes, I'm 18. But you're Hold on, this shit's too laggy. You better kick me out. All right. Let's go on to the next person. I ever was a little girl. Um and I I've oh I've like Like, I'm not gonna like with the, the mat with the shine on oh, so you know. How old are you? Twenty nine. Okay, so do you think that spanking is abuse? Uh I, I, I do not. And why is that? I think simply because when you're when you're being raised, um when you combine that and set boundaries, especially when it's built on love, you explain. Um the reason for your spanking like a slap on the wrist now there's you know when i, I defined abuse as you know malicious intent so that's why I don't, yeah so I, where does intent matter in abuse uh i guess i guess it really doesn't it doesn't really okay then so why did you say that i just kind of wanted to put my point out there but i was just making it, it was a point that made no sense that was terrible okay try again all right all right 
Back to what I was saying. I don't think it's abuse because basically it teaches, it teaches children at a young age a lesson because they're not as good as we are as adults with their words. So I don't understand. I, how do you get a point across to a child with the use of words besides an action? So that's why I don't with think. Your words, I don't. I don't know. If you if you can't communicate with your with your child, a child that you've known since they were born, you're a bad parent. Well, I'm I'm looking at it from. Uh, like a baby to age six. I don't. You're think, hitting. You're hitting babies. Not hitting. A, you're saying spanking. Hitting and spanking is definitely different. You're putting your hands on babies. A pop on the hand is not abuse. You're popping babies. <laughs> I see what you're saying, but it's not abuse. It 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 just depends on how it, the the parent goes about it. I'm not gonna lie, monkey brain. Anyway, um, how that's what, anim- that's what animals do. Um, Miranda, thank you so much for the subscription. So, oh God, yeah, so what evidence do you have that says that this works and that this is healthy for children? Um, because I am a product of my but I don't, but I, don't but, I didn't, but I didn't fucking ask, though. I asked what evidence is there. That's not evidence. Because, no, you think it's okay to hit babies, bro. You did not turn out well. How well do y'all think y'all turned? You didn't turn out well at all. How, how, okay I, how, how can you say I'm not, though? You just, you just said it's okay to hit babies. I'm not saying it's okay I'm to hit... I'm fucking pretty as shit right now. It's... You think it's okay to hit babies. I think it's a, a teaching tool. I'm not, I'm not it's okay saying to hit it, babies. It's you did not the, turn out good. So can I, you go ahead and, and, and provide the source, please? I, I don't I I'm I can only explain what okay. happened to my bye. girl. My, my, okay, bye. You 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 seem like an intelligent person. I need us to stop with the anti intellectualism. Okay? You have access to this. You are choosing to be ignorant. Spade, thank you so much for the train. Now that is anti-intellectual. My mother will beat you. You can call police. Police have to beat you. They will beat you. You call police. Police have to beat you. They will beat you. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I turned out well. By the way, I fuck up kids. That's crazy to me. You know, quite sickening. Also, if y'all have dimples and you want to accentuate your dimples when you smile, the Fenty um, Diamond Bomb is really good for this. You got empty dimple, just get like one of these little ones. Like, sorry. Uh, can you hear hi. me? Yeah. How old are you? Oh, hi. Uh, I just want to say your makeup's like really, really pretty. <laughs> Thank but, you. And I, I just wanted to join the live and say, uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, spanking is abuse. Um, I'm 19, by the way. Um, I'm taking a gap. I'm going on to study psychiatry. And mm-hmm. um, I 100% like agree that spanking is abuse. But um, you. would you mind if I just like ask you a small question? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I saw, I heard you talking about um, trauma essentially like or it's more likely that people ha- have gone through trauma and have like lower iqs well no it's not more likely it, it would be fully case dependent on the person's brain um but okay. there is there's just simply a correlation between lower iqs um and trauma and experiencing trauma especially that at a young age um Oh, okay. It's particularly like during like developmental ages, because of the way that the brain behaves during fight or flight, it stops all the brain brain development. Like literally, like when you're in fight or flight, your body stops everything. You stop forming memories. Mm-hmm. You even stop digesting food. Right. All of the See, energy yeah. within your body is being put directly towards surviving. You your your body stops developing, and so because your body stops developing, even for a little bit, right? And ha- and then even for a little like bit, your nervous have this system. Be cons- exactly. Have this be consistent over years. You're gonna be underdeveloped because your body stops developing. Right. And um, for abuse, um, I, like this is like what I'm really wondering. Um, are you like directly correlating to like spanking and hitting or can it be like emotional abuse as well or like just growing up in an environment where mm-hmm. um, there's traumatic experiences happening because I grew up uh, quite young maybe around like I started when I was five my parents would like argue and fight a lot and mm-hmm. I remember the day that my dad like split and it was very very traumatic and I'm just wondering that because I have to go through much so much anxiety as a kid, even though it wasn't physical, it was like emotional and environmental. Yes. With that, yes. like, kind of, um, I feel like my IQ is like low now. Not low, but like I'm just wondering, would that um, have the same effects as like physical abuse on your IQ? Well, yes, that's a really interesting thing about like psychology, though. Is um, mm-hmm. Emily? Thank you so much for the subscription. And also, again, I'm really sorry that happened to you. 
um but the thing no, about okay. the thing about um mental abuse physical abuse is that it all feels the same right uh when we feel particular emotions it feels like like a feeling it feels physical right even though it is purely mental in nature um because there are other parts of your body that behave in a particular way when you feel particular emotions um but even this, like uh, with my definition of abuse, it would meet all the criteria for for these particular types of things. Like even for physical, mental and emotional abuse, um, as long mm -hmm. as there is this maintaining of a particular power dynamic as a for through violence, uh, that would that would uh, be abuse. Right. Um, uh, also, things mm -hmm. like negligence is still abuse, right? So your parents fighting in front of you, um, even though to that to each other, there would be a struggle of power dynamics between each other that will cause violence. The negligence that is inherently abuse would come to you having to experience that around them, mm -hmm. and then that will cause. I know. Some, yeah, like I I literally agree with you so much. And um, now both my parents and they have like they've they've grown a lot. But mm -hmm. I guess the one I'm not thing saying they're that terrible kind of with that they just can't get. No, no, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. But the one thing that I really want to get across is that they don't think that what they did was a form of abuse, mm -hmm. but they like they did. I just needed to get like some sort of like clarification because um... I've been kind of like arguing with both of them because I'm just like it was abuse and it wasn't only that that went on. Like a lot mm -hmm. of like, as you said, neg neg negligence. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it that well. Mm -hmm. And basically, like. I was kind of so all the emotions that they were going through like I was in the midst of it and it really did cause me a lot of anxiety problems which is currently what I, I'm I wish right I wish now. social approach was here because they're an actual uh therapist and they have like an amazing um explanation for this but like I I I, I will try to do mm -hmm. my best and obviously fact check me anyone um so I get what you're saying, right? And so confronting your parents about particular behaviors that they would that they would do when you were a child is like a very difficult and very like emotionally taxing thing. Yeah. Um, and and what I would say um, is n not to come at them with immediately saying, "Oh, you're an abuser," right? I wouldn't even use that word very soon because uh, within our society, for some reason. Or just within the words people a lot of the time do not know what words mean they just know how words make them feel right and yeah, so when you use the word it. abuse or abuser um if you're fan if your parents but to me it that, was abuse though i know like, i'm gonna help you i'm gonna help you i'm gonna help you out if you use the word like because uh, uh, you have to like in order to be able to communicate with people you have to know mm -hmm. why they're saying things you have to know why they mm -hmm. react a certain way and if you don't know why a person mm -hmm. will react a certain way you're not going to be able to communicate with them right okay so i'm just saying that this might be what your parents are experiencing so when because people don't really know the definitions of words they just know how words make them feel um if you were to go to your parents and use the word abuse or abusive or abuser even though you are completely correct by definition of the word what they hear mm -hmm. might be something completely different right so if you really want to take the time to get through to your parents i would still start out by teaching them the nuances of what harm looks like right mm -hmm. so you could change up the words that you're using be like look this is what harm looks like show it what show what it looks like in other people um try to explain it in ways that you know your parents will be able to understand right like my parents right. respond really well to analogies right if i if i put the analogy in a in a way that they will be able to relate to right then um they're more likely to understand you must know for for any of your opponents whether that be your family and when i say opponents i just mean someone who's in opposition to you no no anyway. i understand um, whether that be your family, you need to know why they are going to say particular things and what type of arguments that they're going to have, right? So if you know that your parents are not going to respond well to these particular types of words, use different words, right? So right. use words like harmful, this hurt me, right? Or you can even go f to a different round and be like, I understand that you two were a part of a very difficult time, right? But when you argued to me as a child, and this is like like psychologically true um mm -hmm. when things happen to children they um cannot understand they can't comprehend 
not even not specifically they cannot comprehend if things are their fault or not so when things bad when mm. when things that are bad happen children assume that it is their fault they are very narcissistic in nature right? I, as in so they like internalize they it internalize it every me. single thing exactly so when something bad happens or their parents are angry children automatically assume that it is their fault right and so you can explain it from mm. that standpoint especially since you're studying psychology you can be like look um i study psychology i'm getting to know more about myself and my brain and why i have particular reactions and why i have particular feelings when you guys did mm -hmm. this you made it made it feel like it was my fault and it hurt me now whether or not this was the case is irrelevant i need you to support me and i need you to love me right because um mm -hmm. they might not feel like they did anything wrong because your parents may feel that like they're they're a couple at the end of the day right they have a right to argue with each other they're going to disagree yada 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 but mm -hmm. you need to also bring you into that equation as well as to how that affected you and you shouldn't feel yeah. selfish for expressing that to your parents you are in you are just as important in that household as they are right so mm -hmm. like bring it up to them i say don't use super um like emotionally um so don't uh, use like words. triggering like words exactly if you know what right? i mean like if you know there are certain words that your parents really just do not mesh with i would say okay. find different words to use so kind of like explain it to them in a way that will kind of like make like make them relate to it exactly that's the best way to communicate with people the best way okay. all the time to communicate with people <laughs> is to learn so more much it's okay yeah my body. yeah so the well, best actually way to sorry sorry i don't mean to be overreacting but no, it's so fine. helpful no, it's fine, but that's the, that's but, the first um, thing you need to no, do. No, seriously, seriously, thank you. Because I had, I had like a bit of an argument with my with my mom like yesterday, and she kind of said like, "Oh, um, that I really hurt her by saying mm -hmm. that I that she kind of abused me when I was a kid." Right. And I was thinking about it, so like I just didn't know whether it was like insensitive or not, because I didn't know like. Well, how, no, you would, you would, you would still to be right. Understand? Yeah. But honestly. No, this the whole best... conversation has helped me so much yeah. because um, for the longest time now, uh, I've been really wanting to like get it through. Sorry, I let you speak. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. I, I was just, I was just gonna say, if any time you want to communicate with someone, the best way to communicate with someone is to be able to relate to them right? As humans, we are social beings. Mm -hmm. And when we communicate with each other, the reason we are able to communicate with each other is because we understand the experiences of other human beings. And that is likely what your mother is looking for. Because you got to understand your mother is not you. She likely was she, she likely didn't even, you know, mm -hmm. not to, you know, not to, you know, remove her responsibility. But a lot of the time, Mm -hmm. we don't understand what another human is thinking that's that is why when you want to go and communicate with someone you need to hit them where the two of you converge as people right so okay all right yeah. all right um okay okay so i'm just gonna let uh, somebody else speak because i think i've been no, on no, here no, for a while but no, seriously no. yeah thank <laughs> you so freaking much no seriously thank you so much because this is Literally gonna be so helpful and um i genuinely think that you have like a gift with this or not a gift but like i don't want to be i don't want to overreact but like no, you're fine, you love. you are like really really um like articulate but thank you yeah Rhea, i support you if you ever need like any advice or anything like that you can always hit me up in the dms they're always open okay oh okay thank you of course um i don't um, know how to leave <laughs> i got you i got you my love all right you guys it is 258 i need a drink i need a drink i need to sit me a margarita i need me i need me a margarita matter of fact fuck that a cocktail i need me a cocktail yes but everyone oh my goodness <laughs> Not only am I fucking gorgeous, we had a good day today. W's in the chat. Oh my goodness, every. Oh my goodness, get into it. Ah! I be looking at myself in the mirror, be like, damn, damn. You know what I mean? You ever catch yourself in the mirror and you're like, fuck, damn, damn. No violations, no bans. Can I get a W in the chat? Victory Screech. Ah! Thank you. 
Fist in the air! We ain't got no violations, no bans, no nothing! Did I just do a full live? Did I just do a full live chat? Yo, if you're still here, follow me! I just did a full life. Do y'all know how long it's been since I've done a full fucking life? Do you know how long it's been? Bro! Hey, but yeah, um, love you all so much. You're amazing and you're beautiful. Oh, guys, let me show you what drink I'm gonna get. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on, you see? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Hold on. Oh my God, if anyone hasn't seen uh, the drag look I did with my best friend, look at this. If you guys have missed it, this is the drag look I did with my bestie, Sam. When's the next live? Tomorrow, baby. 11 a.m. Eastern Standard. I love drag. I love drag. Y'all fuck with it? Do y'all fuck with it? Do y'all fuck with it? DM me what you think my drag name should be. What do y'all think my drag name should be? Thank you for the ICU. But y'all, let me show y'all the drink I'm going to get tonight. Because I've been craving it. And it's like, I don't even like it that much. But like, I just like the color and how it makes me feel afterwards. It makes me feel like I'm ready to suck something. And I, this drink, I forgot what it's called. I didn't even make my bed. Look, don't worry about it. It's like a pomegranate uh, liquor with lime. And I'm usually a sweet drink girly, right? I'm usually a sweet drink girly, but I know it's from months ago, but I, it hasn't left my mind. I need to go back and get it again. I don't even know what kind of liquor it is. I, I just I just looked at the prettiest one and picked it. Is it a palm teeny? Is that what it is? A palm teeny? I forgot what it was called. Thank you for the garland, my love. Kind of. But it's not sweet. Yeah, it's like a pomegranate lime uh, with with vodka. A cosmop. Wait, is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. I think that, I think, yeah. Actually, wait. I think that's what it's called. It's a cosmopolitan. I'm not good with, with drink names, okay? I'm not good with drink names, baby. Yeah. It's vodka, whatever, cranberry juice lime yeah it's a, it's a it's a cosmopolitan but i think they call it something different troy you want to make me some drinks anyway um <laughs> troy you still ain't send me the link to that damn gerber baby commercial <laughs> but y'all um i am going to end the live thank you all so much for being here um love you all so much I'm about to get me a drink and then I'm gonna go suck some. Love you. Bye. Mwah. Hey, mwah. Matter of fact, one second. One second.